Hey, what's up? It's me, it's Amanda. And today I'm giving you a very random video because I'm still waiting on my capture card. Uh, long story short, if you don't know, uh, my Elgato capture card, I got it like two months ago and then it just totally stopped working on me. Like, I guess it's been a couple weeks now, God. And I've just been waiting on this like super long process of getting Elgato to take it and replace it. And I I'm sending it out tomorrow. They're finally like, you know, getting the ball rolling. So it shouldn't be much longer for that bad boy to come in so I can do my Anka hunt once and for all. However, I figured I would just do whatever, you know? Uh, so today I'm gonna play a game where you get abducted by aliens and then try to date them all. It's by a amazing Flash game player that I love, that I've played a few of the games that she's made in the past long, long ago. Like I'm talking 10 years ago. And I didn't realize that she has one where you date aliens, and you know I'm all over that, so we're going to do it. It's random, but whatever. So this is going to be, I'm telling you, just if you've never played these games before, this is going to be a roller coaster. From what I remember, these are my soaps. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. So yeah, you know, I know it's not Animal Crossing stuff, but I am just having fun with this. I really, I'm not trying to be like, well, the algorithm, and like, I'm trying to get as many, I don't, I don't care. I mean, obviously, as a broke ass wildlife conservationist, it's amazing to be able to do this and have so much fun and make money. But at the end of the day, this is just, I don't know, I'm just going to be myself. And I'm really, really appreciative of you guys giving me a chance to just do random stuff because it's going to be fun. I swear there's no way this is going to be a flop because you already know I love a good alien abduction. We all do. Get me out of here. Now more than ever, I need to be abducted. Let's just jump right in. Let's do this. Some say that people become stars when they die. If that was true, I guess they could shine on and watch over everybody from the sky. But many light years would separate them from everyone else. Wouldn't they be lonely? Who the hell says this, by the way? Some say that stars, that we become stars when we die? Okay. I've never heard anybody say that, but all right. Okay, so we've got this situation happening. We don't know these people's names. Hi, what's your name? Okay, sweetie, no. Yeah, I'm not Tara. This has got to be about me. Amanda, that's a funny name. Actually, it was the most popular name the year I was born. I don't think it's that funny. Okay, his name is Lee. Lee says, well, mine's funnier. It's Lee. Nice to meet you. What's your star sign, Amanda? <laughs> funny you should ask, because I'm a Libra, which is the best sign. My mom told me about them. Um, They have something to do with birthdays. But here, just pick a sign from this book. Lee, that's not how it works, but that's okay, because you're letting me pick my sign, so that's great. Oh, that's Libra. Let's see. Be patient around a Libra. They take forever to make decisions. Nuh-uh, I'm not like that. Girl, you know you just got called out. But books are never wrong. You're stupid. That's me. That's me to a fucking T. That really is. Even though it started off rough, the friendship between Lee and I only grew since then. Oh my god. Nope. I'm done. I'm done playing this game. This is not fun. This isn't fun for me. I didn't come here to watch my friend Lee die. Hey. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I can't do this. As if I need this. As if I need this. I'm telling you, these are my soaps. Your hair donated it. It was getting too long anyway. My head feels a lot lighter. She's a gem. You looked good with long hair. Thanks, Lee. Thank you so much. I, you know what? Whatever. He's allowed to say whatever he wants to me right now. It'll grow out again. I guess it looks kind of cute, actually. It fits your face. Thank you, Lee. He's a charmer. He's a real charmer. At least he's honest. <laughs> You're just saying that because you don't want to offend me. Oh, come on. You know, you don't have to visit me every day. Shut up, Lee. Yes, I do. But you'll get lonely. I won't. I'll be fine. I'll get lonely. Oh, this is killing me already. How am I even going to survive this? <sighs> if I die, I hope I become a star. What? This is weird to me. I don't think it would be that fun to be a star because you're just kind of in the sky as a ball. I think it's a ball of gas, actually. <laughs> I don't think that would be super fun. I think a ghost would be a much better option for you. Let's look at the ghost option before we do any, before we make any decisions. Let's just look at all the options. Oh, and also Lee, you're not supposed to say that you're going to die. You're not going to die. Yeah, see, you're not going to die. If I became a star, I could watch over you and everyone from the heavens, I guess. Do stars of eyes? I'm being very cynical to my friend Lee who's dying right now. I need to be supportive. <laughs> Not with all the light pollution, girl. That is exactly what I would say. I would just like totally destroy somebody's like comforting thoughts while they're on their deathbed. That's me. I guess so, huh? 
But does that matter? You don't have to see me, right? It's not about seeing each other. It's about being there for each other. Ugh. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't deal with this. I'm not strong enough. I'm simply not strong enough. I hope I don't die, Amanda. Ugh. I already told you. You're not going to die. That's, that's, and I mean that. Yeah, you're right. I can't wait to go back to school. I'm even looking forward to all the homework and studying. It's weird. Well, you are a weird guy. Ha ha. Yeah, this sucks. So I actually have a paper due tomorrow, but I just wanted to check in on you. Sorry. Oh, oh no, it's fine. Thanks for coming to visit. I'll be back tomorrow. Wait, uh, is there tea? What? 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 Haha, ha, I can tell you tomorrow. No, 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 You're dying? And we don't get to do the I'm going to tell you tomorrow thing because you're just going to die on me. I need to know the tea now, Lee. We don't really have time to be messing around and being coy. Huh? Tell me now. Yeah. No, I'll tell you tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Oh, come on. See you tomorrow. <sighs> That was, sigh was very real. That sigh was very real because now it's, I'm already aware of the trope. He's going to be dead. He's going to die. I'm never going to know. And I'm going to go all the way to space to find out. When I saw your face that day, I knew it was goodbye. What? What? I just knew he was, uh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. And I just found him. I found a corpse. 911, I found a corpse. My friend <laughs> is a corpse and I can't handle this. That's great. Lee? Yep. He's, oh, he's not dead. Wow. Nice. All right. Subverting expectations. I like it. He's not dead. Were you sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. I'll take it. Oh, sorry. What's wrong? Nothing. Just spit it out. If you swallow too many things that bother you, you'll get sick. You'll get sick like me. Lee, shut up. You don't need to milk it, okay? I already feel like shit. I'm already guilty enough. Happy birthday, Amanda. It's my birthday. Love it. Love it. What a great birthday. My friend's dying. It's my birthday. He won't tell me the tea. That's for you. What's for me? This? This little thing? Thank you. Where did you get this? You went to the mall in this condition. Sorry we couldn't do something more fun. Lee, it's literally so fun. We'll have to do something fun for your birthday. Yeah, because this makes him feel, this makes him feel like he's going to be around, you know? Gives him hope. I got to give him hope because he's not dying. Oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> he just died. He just flopped over and died on my birthday. Lee had the audacity to die on my birthday. I can't even begin to unpack this. He's dead. Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. Yeah, and his last words were, yeah, dot, 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 and he never told me the tea. That's what I'm really crying about. You, you can't do that to people. If you're dying, you need to tell people the tea. And also, oh my god, Lee is dead. I'm so sad. I thought that I was already mentally prepared so that I wouldn't cry. Girl, shut up. You can cry. What is this whole stigma about crying? Everybody is allowed to cry. I'm talking to all of you. If you gotta cry, you better cry. Promise me you're gonna cry. Seriously, I don't care who you are. Crying is not a gender thing either. That's stupid. Just cry if you're gonna cry, Amanda. Why do I still feel like crying? I don't know, because your best friend just flopped over and died in front of you. He straight up died on your birthday, maybe? That's why, and he didn't even tell you the tea? Interesting. Rye, wait. Come on. Oh, geez, what's this? Men, stupid men. Oh my God, what is this? The circus? What is this? <laughs> Whoa, a person, okay. Listen, I don't I don't have the capacity. Where are the aliens? <laughs> are the aliens behind the men? Are are you telling me that aliens are men? That's a nightmare. <laughs> Who are these guys? Nice to meet you. I'm Rye. Oh my god, I'm already done with Rye. And this is Quoto. <laughs> what? Is he an alien under there? I hope he's an alien. Rye, what are you doing? Um, hi. Yeah. And you are <laughs> Listen, I don't know where y'all came from, but on my planet, we don't just go up to random people and be like, um, <laughs> can you imagine somebody randomly walking up to you like, um, and you are like, <laughs> I'm annoyed. That's what I am. Oh my God. Amanda. Yeah. So can I help you? Where are you guys from? What do you want from me? Yeah, definitely. I'm not going to be like, so where are you from? No. What do you men want from me? My friend just flopped over and died in front of me. Huh? 
what? We don't want anything. We were just saying hi. Is that not a norm around here? Great. Now I'm the asshole. This is great. Two random men come running up to me on my birthday. My friend just died. And I'm the asshole? Am I the asshole? Let me know down in the comments. Am I the asshole? <laughs> I don't think I am. Rush. Oh my God, because they're aliens. Um, We should really be on our way now. Good day to you. You know what? Quota is my boy. He's actually sensible. We just got here. We just had to stop for maintenance. We can still check this place out. If we're not back in time, he'll leave without us. Mag would never do that. And I'm just, I'm so visibly confused because men are being weird. Yeah, I'm leaving. Hey, where are you going? <sighs> Home? Not that it's any of your business. Can we come with? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Quoto's right. Quoto's my boy right now. I need some time to myself, actually, because I don't know you first and foremost. Someone really, really close to me just died. Okay. So leave me alone. Is that asking for too much? No. Actually, you're not asking for enough. Excuse me? What? Rai, what are you doing? Come on, this is too perfect. Oh my god. Huh? No! We can't! We just can't! Amanda, this way. You have got... <laughs> To have me fucked up if you think I'm following you. Are you kidding me? What? Where are you going? I guess I gotta start my adventure. But honestly, if this was real life, who is this blue haired man? What is going? Okay, I guess he's an alien. He's an alien. He's kind of alien-y. I like this. Maintenance complete. We're ready for takeoff. Huh? A new face? It's all on Rye. I have nothing to do with this. Y you, you're aliens? Aliens, where? Aw, Quoto's cute. Amanda, this is Magazine, but we all call him Mag. He's the captain. Okay, first of all, I love that. I love that his name's Magazine. That's amazing, because he's an alien. So it's like, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, He's the captain too, okay, noted. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Yeah, so someone close to her just passed away. Can she come along? Does she want to? Oh my God, King Magazine is in the house asking for my consent. You know what? Magazine's a king. I'm zeroing in. See, he didn't even bother to ask. Why do we even listen to him? I also like Quoto too. He's a sensible king. I like this. This rye though, honestly, as soon as I get on that ship, I'm pushing him out. I'm pushing him out the window just to see what happens to bodies in space. I'm curious for like a science experiment. I'm pushing him out. Where are you guys going? <laughs> to the constellations. It's where deceased people go. If you pay a price, you'll be able to bring a person back to life. What? Oh my God, he's so cute. He doesn't know how to interact with people. That's my kind of man. That's my kind of man right there. A man who does not know how to interact with people, usually my man. To the constellations, it's where deceased people go. If you pay a price, you'll be able to pr bring a person back to life. Huh? To the constellations, oh my God, I'm in love. He's awkward and I'm in love. That's, that's the story of my life. There's no such thing. That constellations place can't be real. Oh God, come on. I remember. You don't have to do a flashback. Believe me, this just happened five minutes ago. I remember. If I die, I hope I become a star. How would Lee know about the constellations? Is he an alien? Lee was an alien the whole time. That's the twist. I figured it out. So you should come along. I, no. No, not doing it. I can't. Yeah. I mean, you can't. Huh? Why not? Don't you want to bring him back? I can't just leave like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm in like high school. I have like parents and stuff that might be worried if I go to space with some aliens. Don't worry. I won't tell anybody about you guys. Nobody would believe me anyway. It's true. That was super weird. Yeah, just a little. This has been a rough day for you. I think you're going to need several years of therapy. Lee, we met in kindergarten. I remember hating him because he would always borrow my crayons. At first, I didn't mind, but he would ask to use them almost every day. It was so annoying. But then we became friends after he drew a picture for me with my crayons. That's cute. One time, he accidentally hit my face with a hockey stick, and I cried. He cried, too, because he felt really bad. Aw, Lee. I need to stop thinking about him or else I'm going to cry again. Listen, Amanda, how many times do I have to tell you it's okay to cry? Be in your feelings. Your friend died on your birthday and then you got abdu almost abducted by aliens, okay? And one of them was hot. This is a weird day. I'm getting abducted by aliens. <laughs> yes, my dream. Yes. Uh, at least I can get abducted by aliens some way, in some form. Yep, abducted. Cool. Are you all right? Quoto, thanks. Thanks for asking, Quoto. No, I'm not all right. <laughs> what are you guys doing? 
You dropped this. Oh my God. Okay, I thought I was getting abducted against my will, which I was, but I thought it was just because Rye is, Rye is actually toxic. Red flags galore. His his shirt is just uh, woven with red flags, basically, because he doesn't like or understand consent clearly because I've said no to this man and he's gone against that. So I figured it was Rye doing his no means yes thing, but I dropped my bracelet from Lee and that would have been the ultimate trauma, I think. I think that would have sent me over the edge. We just wanted to give it back to you before we took off. Thank you. You know what? Finally, thank you. You didn't have to abduct me for that, though. Or is that normal on your planet? Yeah. Oh, my God. She's spicy. I like her. (laughs) Haha. No, spaceships don't exist on Pluto. Excuse me? Pluto? That's not a planet anymore. Plus, you can't even begin to survive on Pluto, even if it was. So the people of Earth don't consider Pluto to be a planet either. My science king over here. I am I see you, magazine. I absolutely see you. Don't think I don't. Pluto is the best planet-like planet to ever be. He's goose. He's goose come to haunt me in a different form. Great. You can't be from Pluto. Sorry. You just can't. Right now, we're in universe C08, where Earth is the third planet from the sun. In Rise universe, I-15, Pluto is the third planet from the sun and also able to support life like this one. But it seems like in every universe, only one of the eight or nine planets in the solar system are able to support human life. First of all, that's fucking awesome. Pack the seas, that's awesome. This is like a dimensions thing. I love it. Second of all, Magazine's a science king and I'm feeling him. I'm feeling him. I think that this is Kyle come to find me, even though he's nothing like Kyle. I just project. This is Goose come to haunt me. And who the hell is this? I still, it's weird because I'm feeling Magazine because he's giving me like, he's giving me serious like daddy energy. But this is a whole bag of, I don't even, I mean, what is going on? Is he ugly? What, what is the box? I really want to know what the deal with the, I hope he's a whole ass alien. I hope he's got a big alien head. That would be awesome. That's right. Don't you forget Pluto. Okay, Goose. So you're just humans from different universes. Right. Aliens aren't real. Oh, he's cute. He's actually kind of giving me Zucker vibes. See, I got this. I can I can relate this back to Animal Crossing. This one here, he's like a lazy villager. This one is a jock, 100%. And then he is a smug villager. So I'm getting Kyle vibes. I'm kind of getting Kyle vibes, not gonna lie. Hmm, I don't know. All of you guys are definitely aliens in my book. Shut up, Rye. I'm already done with Rye. <laughs> Lee. Oh, girl, you got to go get him. You got to go get him. Go with the aliens. Do, live a little. Come on. Well, since now that's taken care of, shouldn't we get going? Right. We can drop you off, Amanda. You know what? Magazine's a king, honestly. Ooh, wait, I guess I want to come along. I, I mean, can I? Of course. Shut up, Rye. But, but are you really sure? So my friend will really be at the constellations? But what if he isn't? That's a risk we're all taking. Oh my god, he's my man. He's so dramatic. <laughs> he's so dramatic. Yep, he's my man. We just gotta hope for the best, right? Shut up, Rye. Okay, so who are you trying to bring back? Or what kind of price do we have to pay anyway? Mmm. You know what? I guess I kind of want to be nosy and get the tea. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm awkward. I'm awkward. Yikes. Actually, you know what? Why don't I just jump out this window? That was awkward. Ew. You know, <laughs> this is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. I asked the wrong question, ladies and gentlemen, and now I'm going to be jumping out of the window of a spaceship into the galaxy. Um, Bad question to ask. It's all right. You know what? I'm in love with him. (laughs) I fall fast and hard. What can I say? Yeah, we kind of made an unspoken agreement not to really talk about that. Well, you know what, Rye? I don't really care. I didn't ask you. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, right? He's my punching bag for this one. I've already decided I don't like him. Wouldn't it be amazing if he came back and like wowed me and stole me? We need to take off soon. So are you sure you want to come along? He's amazing. He's double, triple checking my consent. What am I doing? I can't go. I mean... Low key, you're right. You can't. Like, what are your parents going to do? But Lee, I can't give up this opportunity. (sighs) I'll go. I'll let myself regret this later and also deal with the the years and years of trauma that I will be inflicting on my parents when they think that I have been kidnapped on the same day on my birthday and on the day that my friend died. Interesting. This is a traumatic situation. These are my soaps. I told you. Here we go. Here we go. What a cool spaceship. (laughs) It looks very high tech. Yep, here we are. Oh my God, here we go. Welcome aboard, Amanda. 
Sorry if it's a lot to ask, but would you mind being my co-pilot? You know what, Magazine? I'm going to be honest with you. It might be a little too much to ask. I'm going through a lot. <laughs> I uh, It's my birthday. I don't know if you do that on your planet, but it is my birthday. Not that that's a big deal, but my best friend just died in front of me. He straight up just stopped being alive. You know, they had to put him in a body bag and they're burying him. So that was bad. What else happened today? I got abducted by aliens. One of them's hot, so that's cool, but it's mostly a traumatic for me. So my head is spinning right now and I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good co-pilot, but if you need me to be, I mean, if I can spend time with you, then that's great. I just want you to know that I have no qualifications. I have no experience and I'm actually, I'm in a delicate condition. So uh, it might be kind of wonky. Just use that computer behind me to select the next destination. Looks like universes B16, D35, E10, and G83 are in range. It may be a while before we get closer to the constellation. So please bear with the extended travel. When you get tired, you can rest in your room. It's on the level above the kitchen. Does all that make sense? You know, he's a, he's a king. A little bit rigid you know but he's a soft boy I can already tell I think that his heart needs taking I think it needs cracking I think he's got a sad tragic backstory ladies I'm feeling it and you can tell because he's got the emo hair over the eye you can always tell that's their that's their dead giveaway you got a soft boy with a with a tragic backstory if they're covering their eye with emo hair even if it's blue let me know if you need anything he's a sweetheart and you know what he's a soft boy look at that face it's tortured he's a tortured soul just the way I like him <laughs> Can you tell I have issues? Okay, so this is actually all that's, this is perfect. Okay, so I'm not actually having to do any real work as the co-pilot. It was just a way to get it to be like, this is how you play the game. So from my understanding, I think what we do is we pick these planets and we go explore them and find hotties on each planet and we flirt with them until we find love. I love it. And if you've never played these games, usually like you'll talk with people, but this will like bring your energy down and then you'll have to sleep and it'll progress you into the next day. And every day you're getting closer to the end. So you've got to kind of like talk to the people that you're into to progress your relationship. It's going to be tea. That's all I can tell you. These are my soaps. Quotos room, magazines room, rise room. Why is it right next to mine? I already am so done with rye it's not even funny here's my room okay okay you know what let's go let's go talk to quota let's let's see what he's all about so far uh i hate the outfit i'm just gonna come out and say it i hate the outfit i think it's dumb but i want to know why he's wearing the box don't you what's going on quota what's going on do you have some kind of a condition I guess it's none of my business, but it's I'm going to make it my business. Oh, hello. So I guess I'll be seeing you around a lot more, huh? He's awkward. He's so awkward. I love it. Um, guess so. Y yeah. Well, nice to meet you. Oh, he's cute. So this is rude as hell, <laughs> but so is this. So I'm just going to I'm going to just go for it. Isn't it hard to breathe under that box? Uh, I'm used to it. Don't stare at me like that. Ooh, sorry. Oh my God, I'm so, we're so awkward together. What the hell? <laughs> this is a recipe for disaster because I'm awkward and he's awkward. God, what are, what a disaster. Um, what are you up to? <laughs> I don't know how to talk to a guy. Nothing. Why are you standing there looking at me like that? Jeez. <laughs> This is about as awkward as it gets, not gonna lie. This is, I'm not feeling a lot of chemistry here, but maybe it's just because we're so damn awkward. A mayonnaise and apple sandwich sounds really good right about now. Oh my God, Quoto. I guess that's cute though, because he's an alien, so he's from a different planet and they have a different culture. Maybe that's what the box is about. Are you that hungry? Yeah, a lot of the food on the ship really isn't my taste. Aww. Yeah, he's probably just from a different culture. Why are you looking at me like that? Listen, he's about to fight me because I keep, apparently I'm staring at him or something. This is so awkward. I hate this. First impression, I, I think we're too awkward for each other. Well, you're wearing a box on your head. So I know it's weird, but from where I'm from, we wear masks and cover our faces. I lost my mask. So this box is all I have. Okay. I love that. I think that's really quirky and cute. I think it's very mysterious, but I also think that there's an awkward guy under there that might be a little too awkward for me. I don't know. I lost my mask while Rye dragged me onto this ship. Honestly, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to come along, but here I am. Okay, Rye is a piece of shit. <laughs> Let's, I, that might be something we have in common is that we both hate Rye. Rye abducted you against your will. Interesting. Same, honestly. 
Um, you'll probably never do anything like this ever again. I'm just going to go for that. That's true. I guess a trip to outer space and other universes should be exciting. Okay, I'm all out of energy, so I got to go uh, sleep. What are we thinking about Quoto? I think Quoto is so fucking awkward that I can't even handle it, actually. That's what I'm thinking. But I want to know what's under his box. I'm nosy as hell. Oh, man, because I feel like, honestly, that's probably his shtick, is that you find out, I think that this is this is my pull so far. I'm thinking that for if you pursue Quoto, you're going to get to figure out what's behind that box. And it's probably worth it, honestly, to, to go in on it. Like, you got all these hot guys around you and you still pick box head. I think you're going to get a good payoff with that one. Magazine, obviously, he's emo. So he's probably got a tragic backstory. And then as for Rye, I think he's just a piece of shit. And then you find out, oh, he, yep, that's him. He's just a piece of shit. Yep. He's just a jock piece of shit like Goose, honestly. Where's my baby? Actually, should I go to a planet? I'm going to talk to him, actually. <gasps> he's cute. Did you need something? Ooh. No, I'm sorry. Should I pretend I'm, I'm looking for the bathroom? I'm. You know what? I'm going to be not awkward because with Quoto, it was really awkward. So I'm just going to be brave and bold and say, just saying hi. Oh, hi. How are you feeling? For most people, traveling to space for the first time can be kind of rough. He is a king. He's a sweet, sweet king. I'm a little tired. I'm going to milk it. That's pretty normal. You should get some rest when you can. I hope you don't get sick. Rye got motion sickness for a while when he boarded. Listen, magazine... I don't give a fuck about Rai, but I do give a fuck about you, so let's keep talking. Did you ever expect to encounter people like us or to find yourself in this situation? Uh, <laughs> I want to say of course not, but just like I've told you before, I've always wanted to get abducted by aliens. I've always wanted to go to outer space. Really? That's nice. I hope you do enjoy yourself. To me, space is nothing very special, but I'm glad you're finding it fun. Okay, Captain. What is it? Oh, God. Am I bothering you? That's honestly what I would say. <gasps> Oh my god. No, not at all. Oh, he loves me. He loves me. The Constellations is pretty far away. Even with the ship, it's going to take a few jumps to closer universes before we reach it. He's so captain. How many universes are there in total or how much longer until... I'm just going to be like, pretend I'm interested. How many universes are there in total? Within what you call the solar system, perhaps around 100? But not all universes in our system have habitable planets. But we're always discovering new universes. There's so much to learn. Oh, he's my man. He's my man. He's an educated science emo king. He understands and respects consent. And he's a king. And he's the captain. Does your name have a special meaning? It seems kind of unique. My name? He's asking if my name is unique? I love this because his name is Magazine, so that's funny. Not really, but your name means a book of articles to me. Really? That's strange. Oh my god, this is so cute because he's from a different planet. So his name is Magazine. And if he was like from my planet, his name would be like Tyler or something. I love this. Okay, I gotta go sleep again. And then I guess we gotta go like explore a planet. You know what? I'm just gonna go into Rise Room really quick to see what it looks like. Stupid. Just like him. Not surprised. What's the bathroom? <gasps> Ooh, yikes. Okay, that's awkward. That's so awkward. <laughs> I just like, ooh! I can't handle this. I can't handle this. Oh my God. Did I just walk in on Quoto in the bathroom? I'm never talking to him again. That's it. Yep. I'm too embarrassed. I'm too, that, yep. The awkwardness doomed us. I don't give a, I don't care what's under the box at this point. We are doomed because we're both too awkward and I almost just walked in on him in the bathroom. I can't handle that. Yeah. It's not going to work between me and Quoto. Not this time. Nope. It's the next day. Let's go. Let's go be a thought. I, I'm honestly terrified to go into the bathroom now. Like, what if I walk in on magazine? I don't want to ruin my chances. What is going on in here? My God, a bunch of men. A bunch of men. Ugh. God, what is this? What? Oh, it just came out. What is? Okay, I can't even begin to unpack this. Bye. Yeah, a bunch of men. That's my explanation for that. Ooh, I want to go into magazine's room real quick, right? He's probably not in there, though. Ooh, he's here. He's here. Okay. Let's unpack. Oh, my God. He's my man. Let's unpack this. He's got this big bed <laughs> for two <laughs> and a book about pandas or something. What is he reading? What is he reading? A book about pandas? Is he my man? Okay. Where do we want to go first? Venus, Mars, Jupiter. Or Uranus, where should we go first? 
Oh my God. I guess, you know, I'm just going to start. I'm going to work my way from left to right. What are we wearing? What is everybody wearing? First of all, where did I get this? It's very, it's cute. He looks so handsome. Look at his captain hat. Look at Magazine's captain hat. He is the captain. And look at me. I'm the co-captain. Quoto looks less bad than normal. And who's that again at the end? Oh, Rye. Yeah, he's whatever. He does look cute in that, but I'm going to pretend he doesn't. I should stock up on the ship's water supply here. He's so responsible. <laughs> Come on, guys. I want to go check out the town. Okay, Goose. That's something Goose would do. <laughs> go check out the town. Redis! Is he dateable? I love him. <laughs> Well, come. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. I've never seen people like you around these parts. Where y'all from, Rita's? We don't have time to explain where we're from. Uh, um, the circus? Oh, is there a circus in town? Rita's is so savage. I'm actually interested in Rita's. Is he single? Yes, you're right. We're part of the circus. Oh, magazine. So quick on his feet. Last time I saw one, I was a small lad. What can you do? I'd like to see a trick. Mag, follow my lead. Oh my God. What are these men gonna do? Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. These men. You know what? I absolutely love that Mag jumped up onto the top. He's such a king. And he made Rita smile. And for that, I am forever grateful. Anything we can do to help Rita have a good life is what we need to do. Rita says, that was great. What else can you kids do? No, you'll have to buy a ticket. We can't do free shows all day long. You know what, Quoto? Fuck you. I'm done with your ass. You don't put Rita down like that. He welcomed us into this town, into this planet, and he deserves a free show. How dare you? Really? Shame. I'm broke right now. You know what? Give this man anything he wants. If he wants me to stand in the town square and perform the entirety of Hamilton by myself, I'll do it. And you know who I think will jump right in and help? Probably Mag, because he's that kind of man. We don't need you. We don't even need you, Quoto. Get you and your box out of here. Well, I better get back to work. If you kids happen to see Paverville, can you tell him to get his tail over here and help out his old man? Oh my god, Paverville. I will definitely do that. What does he look like? Missy, if you see a boy that makes you feel love at first sight, that's him. Redis, I can't deal with this. You know I'm thirsty. <laughs> Redis is really trying to set me up with his son right now, and I'm into it. Okay, Redis, if you could be my father in law, I'm into it. Okay. Hey, on the way here, I think I saw someone like that. Shut up, Rye. Rye is actually going to go steal my man. Is this Paverville? Ooh. Okay, well, first of all, I'm a little, I guess he's adopted. He's cute. Um, hi. Whoa, you're like prettier than half the girls I know. You know what, Rye? Get out of here. I saw him first. <laughs> he looks so cool. Koto, shut up. Be cool. Oh my God, look at Mag. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's not going to be weird and awkward, but he's still blushing. You know what? Magazine's stealing the show from Paverville. Even though Paverville is clearly, he's like Hal Pendragon over here. Hal Pendragon with heterochromia. He's like Raymond and Hal Pendragon in, in one person, which is not safe, ladies, as we know, and men, clearly. He's seducing everyone out here. He's a danger to society, but Magazine still keeps his cool. We're looking for someone named Paverville. Do you know him? He's a cool guy. I'm sorry. That's me. Redis was looking for you because I remember Redis. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was supposed to help out today. Yeah, so you better get the hell over there and help Redis before I do, Paverville. Sorry, I have to go. Bye. Paverville's sweet. He cares about Redis. I do too. So that's something we already have in common. Maybe I should go talk to Paverville. What do you think? There is not enough time. Okay, where can I find Paverville? Is he going to be down here? So this is a town. I guess we got to like explore the town, right? What's in the cabin? Oh my God. Okay. Oh, Paverville. Oh, you were at the dock. What's your name? <laughs> Amanda. Thanks for reminding me to come out and help Redis, Amanda. Oh my God, we both care about Redis. Is this love? Let me know if there's anything you need. Ooh, he's cute. He's definitely shaking me to my core, but I'm still thinking about Mag. I'm probably gonna end up having to work and get gifts and everything to woo these men because that's how these games work. I have to get them the things that they like. And it sucks because working takes up some of your energy. So I'm just gonna work a little. 
Oh, nice. I earned 10 Ratchme. Nice. So I'm basically rich now. I wonder what I was doing. I was just like doing something over here, like stalking oranges in front of Paverville. Is he in love with me yet? I'm surprised we haven't met before. This town is small. He's pretty smooth. Uh-oh. <laughs> he's like a Wolfgang. You know what? I'm getting Wolfgang vibes. I think he's going to be my Wolfgang. And I think this is just my early assessment. I'm getting Wolfgang vibes here. And I'm getting Kyle vibes from our captain. What if I lied to him? I would never. I live around here. You just never noticed. Why would I say that? What kind of sociopath? No, you don't have to lie to him. I'm not from around here. Is that so? Ooh, I'm tired. I can't keep chatting. I want to chat a little bit more with him, but I also really miss Mag. What's in the library? Oh, what's in the library, you ask? <laughs> I don't know. My captain? My captain? Maybe? So I guess I can go to the lodge and I can sleep. Sick. Sick. Ooh, do I go to the library or do I go to the cabin? Or no. Where was he? The market. What's at the pier? Ew, trash. I guess that's where they keep all the trash. <laughs> What's the, what's at the bistro? The bistro. See, I say that wrong. Bistro, right? What is this? What? <laughs> what? This has got to be an inside joke. What is going on? Okay. This is about as weird as it gets, but I guess I'm on an alien planet, so it makes sense. This man who's working at the bistro, his name is Mr. Anti-Touch. What is that? What the fuck is that? That's weird. Pack the seas. <laughs> That box man like my fish. True story. What? Oh, you know what? He's giving me insiders because in these games, you have to get the right gifts that these men like and they'll give you a little like tips and stuff. And so I get the, I guess the box man, aka Quoto, likes the fish. But that's all I know. You know what? I'm not going to waste my money until I know what Mag likes. Should I work? Should I make some more Rach May? A little bit. Wait, I earned 10 Rage May in the last place. Fuck you, Mr. Anti-Touch. I can make so much more money over here. Damn it. Mr. Anti-Touch fucked me over. <laughs> anyway, hey, Paperville. Those guys that came with you, they're sort of strange looking. Who are they? They're aliens. <laughs> I think I freaked him out. How do you know Redis? Redis? Oh, I guess he's my dad. Well, he adopted me, but he's still my dad. I love this. Oh, no. Paperville, what happened to your parents? Are they dead? I'm not making light of people's parents being dead, but you know how it is. It's like a trope. You know, if their parents are dead, then they're a sad boy. Then they're a soft boy. Oh, we got two soft boys now in the running for my heart. What am I to do? I'm going to keep chatting. So what brings you to Autifon Pro? <laughs> Ottawa? What? I'm going to say that because that's how I feel. It's this town. You know, I made myself sound like an idiot in front of my crush. No big deal. Ooh, he's he's in he's in love. He's obsessed with me. Seriously, where did you come from? I came from heaven. <laughs> the mainland? Why would I say the mainland? What the hell? What does that even mean? What's the mainland? Oh, my God. And I have to say that because what's it to you is so mean. Okay, but like what town? You know what? I don't think this is going well between me and Paverville. I don't think this is going very well. I don't like this. I feel like I should just try him again next time. I think that it's going to have to be Mag. But for now, oh my God, what is this? Is this a cut scene? Raya's being ignorant like always. Doesn't it get hot under that thing? Huh? I mean, it looks uncomfortable wearing that box all day. Leave him alone, Rai. I don't have a choice. I lost my mask. Mask? In my country, exposing one's face in public is just as inappropriate as walking around without pants on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, that's his culture and we need to respect that. Rye. The face is something only lovers are supposed to see. It's even inappropriate for family and close friends to see it. Wow. Okay. I mean, again, it's his culture and we need to just respect it. We're, it's not ours to ask about or speculate or grill him or make him feel uncomfortable. It's his culture. We just need to respect it. Point blank, he's not hurting anyone. This is his thing. Only children and the elderly don't have to cover their face. Oh my God. Rye is actually the worst. He's canceled. Your planet sounds weird. What an absolute piece of shit. Rai is totally canceled. It's strange for me just seeing you walk around with your face uncovered. Aw, Quoto is honestly, he's putting up with our culture. Let's put up with his. 
Well, for us, it's normal, so it's okay. Just take it off. Listen, this is so xenophobic. I hate this. No, Amanda, don't you think you should take his box off? Hell no. Leave him alone, you piece of shit. You ignorant. I, I can't even stand him. I'm gonna throw him out the window. But he should at least try to see what it's like to show his face. He needs to go right out the window into the galaxy without a mask where he will suffocate and explode. Stop. Get away from me. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Can you? We can I stop? How do I stop this? Can I do a citizen's arrest on Rob? and then throw him out the window into the galaxy. What is going on? What is this? What? <gasps> okay, yeah, I can't understand what they're saying. They're talking in a different language. Nice. What? He's talking to me? I don't know this language. I'm sorry. What? <gasps> My baby. He's talking in a different language too. Uh, what? Oh my God. He's so cool. But I wish I knew what was going on. What is going on? He's doing something. And that should do it. What? Mag, I can understand you. What happened? Just had to restart a few things, mainly the translator. Oh my God. Miss Pactasis did that, y'all. Wow. Yeah, because we're all from different literal planets. So obviously we wouldn't speak the same language. I didn't even think of that. So he's got a translator on the ship and we can all understand each other and apparently everyone else that we come in contact with because that is the power of my man. He's honestly a tech god. As long as we stay within its range, we won't have to worry about any language barriers. Right, and as long as Rai doesn't pull anything funny again, we won't throw him out the window into the galaxy, right? I'll, I'll finish your sentence for you, Guido. Listen, Rye is canceled, okay? Rye is over party.com. As much as I want to keep talking to Paverville, I think that he, I think we just need to do him next time because I'm already really into Mag and, ooh, speak of the devil. And I, I need to go to some of these other planets because you never know. There could be another person that just comes and, and steals my heart. But I'm going to talk to Mag for right now. Are you good with computers? You seem like you would be. Okay, Mag, that's a really bad assessment because I'm not. But um, I'm just going to say I'm average even though I'm bad. Hmm. But the average person knows a lot still, right? He's so sweet. When I made the decision to travel to the constellations, I really didn't expect to run into others so eager to come along. Yeah, I can't believe I left home for this. What a bitch. No, I'm going to say many want to bring back deceased loved ones. I suppose that's sort of human nature, huh? He's my man. He's an emo dramatic man and I love him. He's so dramatic, just like me. The others have been telling me that they've had strange things happening to them when using the toilet. What, is somebody trying to walk in on them? Because that was me. That was me. I'm sorry. I almost walked in on Quoto. Uh, whoops. I've investigated but found nothing. Of course you have because you're a king. Oh, are they talking about the thing that came out of the toilet and told me that if I had a cheat code? I'm not going to tell them what happens to me in the bathroom. So because I don't know, it's just it's too soon for that. So I'm going to say, what did they say? Well, Raya says he hears voices. Quoto said that something touched him. Pretty weird, right? Yeah, that's pretty weird. What? I didn't have anything like that happen. Actually, I did. I totally had a whole thing came came out of the toilet and yelled at me. So I guess that is pretty weird. In my country, children who are placed into orphanages usually aren't adopted. It's not so bad, though. I grew up in an orphanage myself. Oh, there's my tragic backstory right there. Did I not call it? He's my sad boy. He's my soft boy. Okay, so his parents. His parents must be dead. He might be bringing his parents back from the constellations. What happened to your parents? I'm not sure. I heard that they're alive and well, but I don't know their reason for not wanting me. Oh my god. Okay. Hold the phone. This is a risk. This is a risk that I don't know if I'm willing to take. So his parents are alive and well, first of all, trash. But second of all, if he's not trying to bring his parents back, who is he trying to bring back? A girl who's prettier than me, maybe? Oh, no. I'm not going to fight a dead girl. Like, if he's going all the way to the end of the earth for her, who am I to stand in between them? Oh, no. I guess we'll see. Your company is nice. I think you're the right type of person for this journey. Magazine. He's so sweet. I think he's in love with me. However he feels about this girl he's trying to bring back from the constellations that's in my head and I'm not sure if he's trying to bring back a girl, but right now I'm obsessed with that idea. At least he loves me. <laughs> At least he likes me. At least he thinks my company is nice. Why is that? You seem true to yourself. It seems like no matter what happens, you'll be able to handle anything. Magazine is so good to me. 
he's already so good to me. He's like pumping me up. He's making me feel like a badass, even though I'm like totally not. He made me co-captain the minute I walked on the ship. I love him. I'm sorry. Even if he's trying to bring a girl back, I might need to try to like compete with her. I don't know. I don't know. This is really complicated. See, I told you, T, my soaps. My soaps are on. By any chance, do you know what happened to the cheese turnovers? I assure you, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't eat cheese. Oh, never mind. But if you find them, help yourself. Oh my God, he's so sweet. He's like, I'm looking for them, but if you find them, I'm so sweet and such a king that you can eat them. You can have them all. No, I didn't even realize the time went by so fast talking to my king. I think he might be the one, but I haven't met all the dateable characters yet, so I don't know. So far, magazines in, in first place, followed by Paverville. Then I guess Quoto, even though I don't think I could ever even look at him in the eyes again. I don't think I've ever looked him in the eyes, period, because of the box thing. I really do want to know what's under the box. That's killing me. But not enough where I can look him in the eye again because I walked in on him in the bathroom and that was so awkward and we're already awkward. We didn't need that. And I think we're both kind of avoiding each other, honestly. I really do. And then Rai is just, he doesn't even exist. He's dead to me. He really is. Rai's the type of guy, like, he's going to the constellations because he saw, like, a hot girl in the obituaries. And he's like, she's hot. I'm going to go hit her up in the constellations. Like, he's that type of guy. Let's go to the next planet. Mars. Mars. I've not heard good things about Mars. <gasps> look at us. We look so snatched. We look sickening. Oh my god. Uh, first of all, let's just break this down for a second here. My King magazine is wearing a gray tux, which is my thing. I love a gray tux. Rye is dead to me. And then Quoto, uh, he just couldn't do it, could he? Why do we have to wear your outfits? You know what, Rye? Shut up. Mag asked me to make them. The more we blend in, the better. According to my research, this is typical to wear around this time of year in Roxwa Universe D35. Listen, Magazine is so responsible. He's got his shit together. He has got his shit together. For an alien, that's pretty impressive. He's got his shit together. I certainly don't. None of us do, but he does. He's the captain, so he's in charge. He's the most knowledgeable. He's the one with the information. I guess Quoto is able to make clothes. That's his little thing. So he goes off. He makes clothes for us. And then look at my, like, heels, my little sandals, my little heels with the straps. She didn't. Look at her. Who is she? She's out here trying to get a man. And I think she will. And I think it's going to be this one. She's really out here trying to get a man. Obviously. Huh. This city looks a lot like my own hometown. Well, except for the streets are always packed with people. Yeah, this place is kind of a ghost town. Hey, who are you? Oh, great. We're being apprehended. We're being arrested. Great. Cool. Love it. I've always wanted to get arrested in on a different planet by aliens. W where did these guys come from? They look like spies. Listen, Thord, you don't know me? You don't know the first thing about me. Why don't you sit down? <laughs> State your business, Ozton. He looks like Hulk Hogan. I'm not giving any of my business to someone that has a Hulk Hogan goatee. Oh, my man. Honestly, <laughs> just my, my perfect pure take. When it went from Ozton and it switched right to magazine, it made him look about 10,000 times hotter. Magazine. You're looking good standing next to Austin, I will say. We're here to visit. Visitors are not allowed here. Shut up, Banak. Is that his name, Banak? Short for binoculars? <laughs> Banak. He's kind of cute, though. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I'm like, who is he? Sorry, we didn't know. We'll leave right now. All of you are going to have to come with us. Yep, we're being arrested. Whoa, wait a second. Rai, shut up. Not the time for you to pipe in. Let me handle this. <laughs> We're going to let Mag handle this. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? What? Mag? <laughs> Thor is like, what? Huh? It's not working? Oh, God, Mag. No. Enough. Get them. Oh, my God. We're arrested. We're arrested on a different planet by aliens. I just got arrested by aliens. Interesting. Ooh, who's this? Lieutenant Swimond. We found outsiders with no identification. Should we subject them to detention until further notice? Ooh, Fora. Ooh, Fora. Okay, you know she's sending me. Wow. She, oh, 
State your names and origins. Yeah, anything. Anything for you. Rye Mumrine of Coswam. Who cares? Who asked? Magazine Carnet. <laughs> Ooh, Mrs. Carnet. It's got a ring to it. All right, Amanda Carnet. I can see it. Magazine Carnet of Eulos. Quoto de Foqua of Lindbur. Amanda Emerly of South Singham. <laughs> That's like so American. Oh my God. I've never heard of such places. Okay, Fora. If you've never heard of them, Fora, then they don't exist. It's the truth. We're not lying. I find it hard to trust someone who won't even reveal their true identity. Fora is not here to play. Okay? Ma'am, he has to wear it. You see, he was born ugly. Rye is so fucking canceled. I, I beg your pardon? Oh, you poor soul. Fora is a savage. I love it. What's your purpose? Why did you come here? She's a captain too. I'm into the captain thing, as you can clearly see. We were just visiting, Lieutenant. In Rashwa? The brochure said that this city was famous for its formal events. What brochure? Rai, shut up. But only military personnel are allowed to attend. Shut up, Banak. Lieutenant, you're coming this time, right? Oh my god, Banak has got it bad for Fora, but who doesn't, honestly? I'll pass. <laughs> oh my god. She's such a bad bitch. <sighs> thought so. What a simp. Banak is a simp. You are all welcome to attend the 10th annual ball, if you please. Fora, are you serious? Thank you very much. Lieutenant Sweemund, are you sure? Look at them. They're pathetic. <laughs> They couldn't cause any harm if they tried. Oh my god. What a dom. She's a dom. Excuse me, I have some business to take care of. <laughs> you are all dismissed. Okay, if Fora says I'm dismissed, then I'm fucking dismissed, okay? Okay. Fora just totally ended my career. What do I even do? What do I even say? I kind of want to talk to her. Yo, so Fora, about that. Huh? Oh, it's you. What's your name again? Did you need something? Oh my god, she's so condescending. I love it. Look at how pretty she is. I want to talk to you. Oh my god. Can you believe her? <laughs> she didn't. She didn't, but she did. What is it? I'm sort of busy. Are you though? You're just standing here. You don't look busy. Even if at the moment I'm not busy, I still take my work very seriously. <laughs> Girl, do you need a back rub? You're lucky you came to the city after it was reseized by our troops. Otherwise, you would have run into enemy forces. Okay, Fora, who asked? I'm sure it would have been okay. Why is your country at war? Which one should I say? <laughs> what if I just said that and she's like, no, they would have shot you on sight. I'm going to say it. I doubt your friend's little dance would work on them. Okay, Fora just roasted my man and I'm not sure if I'm into it or not. Fora is a bitch, but I, I honestly, she's so, I mean, look at her. Look at the woman. I think she's yelling at me. You know how sensitive I am. I like a soft boy. Let's see. Um, the outer district. Ooh. Yeah. What if we talked in the outer district? <laughs> Unless... I read about the Arctic woolly bear moth caterpillar. They live for 14 years as a caterpillar, but then they become a moth for one summer before passing away. Okay, lot to unpack there. As you know, I'm an animal nerd. I love bugs. And this man, who I've already been crushing really hard on, he just really honestly shared an animal fact with me out of the blue in the outer district, no less. <laughs> Is this really happening? That's so sad. Oh, it's like a sad boy. It is a bit sad, isn't it? But I'm sure there's something nice about living and feeling young most of your life. Oh my God. This is my man. He's always trying to be dramatic, even when he reads a fact about a caterpillar. I love it. Y'all, I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love with an alien named Magazine. Named Ma- What is going on? What is this? What was that? Oh my God, it's an earthquake. It's an earth, it's a natural disaster. We're in a crash. Oh my God. What is going on? Oh my God. I'm, okay, I'm kidnapped. Cool. Oh my God. What is this? Don't move. I'm kidnapped. There's a man and he's kidnapping me. Hello. Ew. Rye, put some pants on if you're going to save me. Who are you? Hey, let Amanda go. Rye, shut up. Actually, it would sound like this. You speak my language. Oh my God. Is this Kyle Reese? What the fuck? We understand each other because of the translation device on the ship. Magazine is keeping his cool in a tense situation. I'm being kidnapped and held against my will by a strange, kind of hot, kind of tall man. And Magazine's keeping his cool. 
We're peaceful and don't want to fight. Please let our friend go. Friend? We're just friends? Okay. That's fine, I guess. <gasps> oh, my God. He let me go. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm cute. I'm cute. This is cute, girl, in your little dress. And Mag gets to <gasps> Mag's got a scar. Look. Mag has got a scar. Oh, he's got scars. Also, he's cute. He's honestly cute, though. But he was holding me against my will, and I don't like that. Not a good first impression. I'm Vanny Alrose. I'm from Mercury. Universe A29. Magazine Carnet. Universe F79. Saturn. <gasps> Saturn's my favorite planet! Because I'm a basic bitch. Of course Saturn's my fave. Carnet. Where is the ship headed? The constellations. I was trying to get to the constellations myself, but my space pod broke down and crashed into your ship. Wow, that's like the most alien sentence ever spoken. Well, perfect. You can come along with us. Shut up, Rai. How about? <laughs> Wait, Vanny, why should we let you come with us? Yeah, honestly, you just held me against my will for no reason. You kidnapped me. What the hell? I can cook. Oh, Vanny can cook? Okay. Welcome aboard. Oh, yep, that's right. Even though he held me against my will and that was not cool, but we'll forget it because you're hot and you can cook. Wait, do we even have enough room for him? Oh, that's right. This ship was designed to only house four occupants at the most. I can sleep on that couch behind you, thanks. Okay, all right. That was intense. Well, I'm done with this planet for now. Let's just, oh, should I talk to him? Yeah, yeah, I should. It's been a while since we've talked. I read that it's common where you live for people to domesticate animals for companionship. I think that's a beautiful thing. Oh my God, this is my man. He's an animal lover. I think it's a beautiful thing too, Mag. You mean you never had a pet? Oh, are they cute? I wish I could keep a pet, but my home doesn't really make it easy for me to keep them. Oh my God, I'll get you any pet you want, Mag, and I'll take care of it too. I'll be your live-in pet setter. I'll do it. I just remembered a holiday happened back at home for me. It's my favorite, but that's all right that I missed it. There's always next year. No, 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 no. There's right now. We will make this holiday happen for you. What do I need to do? Do I need to dress up? Do I need to go get your presents? I'll go get your presents. I'll cook whatever you need me to cook. What is the holiday? Let's celebrate it right now. Could we celebrate it here still? Hmm, it wouldn't be the same. I made it a tradition for myself to always go to a zoo to celebrate, but I like the idea. Oh my God, he loves animals. How did I know? I felt drawn to him. I had no idea he was an animal lover like me. I wonder if I sent a message back home. How long would it take to get there? Would it ever be received? Oh my God, he's so deep. I want to know the tea. Does he have a family? Because who is he trying to get from the constellations? I'm still really insecure about that. Oh, I don't really have a family. I'm not sure why I was thinking about that. There's no one really left back at home for me. Oh my God, a soft, sad boy. Just what I wanted. I knew it. I pinned him. The moment I saw him, I knew. At my academy, there were only boys. We had an annual tradition where we held a beauty pageant and dressed up like girls. I didn't think it was weird, but Ryan Quoto do. Listen, oh my God, Ryan Quoto are canceled. Oh my God. Did you participate? Of course but best I ever did was place third. I think my shoulders are too big, so I couldn't pass for a girl as much as compared to the other boys. You don't need to pass. I want to see your drag look right now. Can we do this? Can, is this the holiday? Can we see magazine and drag, please? You don't need to pass. Are you crazy? You were getting points taken off because you didn't pass. Unbelievable. So backwards. Not on this planet. Mag, where we are right now, you pass. You, you can be whoever you want to be. I want to see this. Oh my God, I love him. He's so like secure with his self and his masculinity. I love him because he's like so masculine. He's the captain of the ship, but he's like, listen, I'm pretty pressed. I'm pretty sad that I only got third place in the beauty pageant where I had to dress up like a girl. I'm pretty sad about that. That haunts me. And he's like the most masculine, like cool captain man. He is just dismantling gender roles. He's breaking barriers. He's starting a movement. I love him. I'm obsessed. This, there's no going back for me. There's no going back. Magazine has it in the bag at this point. <laughs> he really does. It's interesting how all the countries and societies don't differ that much from one another despite being from different universes. I guess that's mankind for you. He is so deep. Ah, oh, I'm too tired to do this. He's really worn me out with all of this deep, deep, deep talk. Oh, there's Vanny. Hi. Vanny's cute. He's cute. I just, I'm already t in too deep with Mag. I am. He's my man. All right, another day, another dollar. Let's go see what kind of tea awaits us. I'm just going to go to another planet. Oh, Vanny. Should we talk to Vanny? Maybe just a second, you know? Why not? I'm a flirt. What can I say? Okay, I don't think Vanny's the one for me. What? Jeez, I'm just saying hi. Oh, he's a Sandra. He's sighing. That's all he said. He goes, sigh. What? Did you... He... 
whoo, whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, that doesn't even matter. That's none of your business. Gender is not even a concern. What if I wasn't? There's 6,000 ways to unpack this and I have no time for any of them. You thought I was a boy? Like, I don't, I, or I don't know. I guess I didn't think you were a girl because of your short hair. Oh, okay. So you come from a stupid planet. I see. Wow. So girls just have to have long hair on Vanny's planet. For a guy who comes from a stupid gender roles planet? Interesting that you're in the kitchen <laughs> and I'm not. Interesting. Are you sure I don't look weird? Yeah, because now I'm insecure. So <laughs> no, I was just surprised. You look fine. Wow. Yep. He's an asshole. Okay, I have no time for this. He's a cranky villager. This right here is our cranky. Here we go. Here he is. Friggin' Fang. Friggin' Apollo. Here he is. What? Do you need something? You know what, Vanny? Fuck you. <laughs> no. I don't. Then stop staring at me like that. Vanny, you wish. He absolutely wishes. You're still bugging me. Why can't we be friends? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really care. Are you lonely or something? You know what, Vanny? I think you're the lonely one. I think you're the one who needs company, but I'm not going to give it to you because you were mean to me. It's over. It's over between me and Vanny. <laughs> <laughs> it's over before it even begins. Good night. Okay, let's go to a different planet. I'm not talking to Vanny. We're not talking. <gasps> I am talking to him though, but I need to go to a different planet. I'm the co-captain after all. Let's go to Jupiter. <gasps> wow. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just fell and stopped breathing. It's fine. Um, whew. okay. Let's assess the situation. First of all, who the hell is she? I look like an absolute snack, a whole snack, a Thanksgiving snack, in fact, a feast, if you will. However, what I'm really focused on is that scarf. How dare he? Magazine, I'm trying to focus on my job as a co-captain and here I am distracted as hell because you're wearing this scarf. How dare you? Oh, he knew. He knew that I love a man in a scarf. This is your best look yet. Magazine, I'm in I'm in this for the long haul. That's it. I don't care who shows up on this island. I don't really, you know, if it's Kyle, I think it's going to be complicated. That's what I think. That's how much Magazine has shaken me to my core. As for Rye, I think he he looks the worst he's ever looked. I think that he looks like an embarrassment. I didn't even see him there. I didn't even know he was there until just now. Rye, button the last button on your shirt, okay? I know you were probably deliberating on whether or not to leave that button unbuttoned. It was a bad choice, okay? Why don't you button that back up? No one wants to see that. Rye is canceled. As for Quoto, I don't even have the time to go over how badly he missed the mark. <laughs> there has got to be a smoke show under that box. It better pay off. For this outfit alone, that's a sin. That's a mortal sin, Quota. What is that? What are those? For all of it, the pants, the shoes, the, I just can't. Anyway, this is white people white peopling, by the way. This is just a big pile of that. And I just realized the lack of diversity in this game, I hate it. But anyway, I digress. Magazine says, Universe E10, City of Katoy, sort of reminds me of home. I hope the people here are friendly. Quoto, shut up. No, I'm just kidding. Quoto's fine. He's, he's innocent. I think he's harmless. Ew. Ew. He goes, well, hello, little lady. Excuse me. Do I know you? Rye is pulling up for me? What world is this? What universe? Her name is Amanda. Rye, who asked? Pleasure to meet you, Amanda. I'm Syl. Ew. Syl is Ward Jr. Ew. And I'm Rye, and this is Quoto and Magazine. Wow, Rye is actually pulling up for me. Mag, get in here. Thanks, but I'm only interested in the girl. Ew. An incel. On the loose. I hate this. I hate this. How rude. Yeah, Qu okay, so Quoto and Rye have so far pulled up for me. Magazine, it's your turn. You're in. I just tapped you in. Go for him. Go for the neck. It's nothing personal. You see, I would love to take her out on a date. I know you would sell because I'm a snack, but I never want to see you again. I want you to turn around. And if I see your face again, I'm calling the police. I'll play you in one round of lurid. If I win, you'll go on a date with me. How about no? How about never in a million years? Since I have nothing to gamble with, I'll have to bet my soul. As if I even want to be within 10 feet of your soul. What happens if I win? I'll forever be yours and you'll be able to do whatever you please to me as <laughs> Listen, Sill's dreaming. Sil, Sil has bumped his head. Somebody come get this man. Wheel him away. Get him out of here. Can you just get a bag of chips or something? Oh, my God. I don't even want to entertain this. This man is off his rocker. He's unhinged. Get him out of here. Magazine, where the hell are you? This is actually really disappointing. 
Haha, <laughs> that's not how it works. Ew, Wart Jr. Just trust me, okay? No. Rye is pulling up for me? What? Magazine. What is going on? Is he having a staring seizure? I'm kind of serious. Why is he just standing there? Is he okay? Is he alive? Is he made of wood? What happened to Magazine? Why is Rye the one pulling up for me? This is kooky. This is an alternate universe altogether. I hate this. Rye goes, Amanda, can I ask you something? I guess. How far are you willing to go to bring your friend back to life? The price to bring someone back to life from the constellations might just be something as valuable as a soul. Oh my god, are you telling me that I have to give this man in the time of day. I'm sick to my stomach already. I just don't want to see this jerk taking your soul or anything. Rye, listen, I know how to do a flying arm bar, and if it comes down to it, I would love to break this man's arm. I really would. I'll break both of them. Are you ready, little lady? Ew. Wait, where the hell is magazine in this? I wish I could say this. I don't want your soul. Do I need his soul for the thing? Maybe I'll get another soul. I hate this. I hate this. I'm just gonna say, yeah, I guess. Cause this is the story, you know, I gotta like do the story. I don't know. Okay, let's play. I like how magazine said zip. He said nothing. Mag, you have a lot of explaining to do. Mag left me high and dry. What the hell? What the hell, Mag? It's simple, just find the blue cards. Whoever gets more blue cards will be the winner. I'm feeling confident in ladies first, so it's your move. Is he a love interest? Who the hell would pick him? What a weirdo. Which card, I don't know, this one? Here I go, ew. Okay, he literally, did he win? Yep, he won. Yep, he won. Ew. Uh, I hate my life. I hate my life. Lurid, I win. He, I hate my life. I absolutely hate my life. Mag, thanks a lot. Thank you, Mag. Love it. I think things were going really well with me and Mag, and then this happened. I won, so you owe me a date. Come by my apartment when you're ready. I'll be looking forward to it. Ew. <laughs> This took a turn for the worst. I hate this. Who does he think he is? Rye is the only, what kind of world? In what world is it where I am standing here looking like a snack? I get completely creeped on, harassed by a strange gross incel, Wart Jr. And the one pulling up for me is Rye? Piece of shit, problematic ass Rye? While magazine stands there. I don't know what's going on. What world? This magazine's gonna have a lot of making up for this to do. I'm I'm crushed, devastated. I'm devastated. Do I have to do this? Do I have to do this? Ew, I hate this. I guess I'll get it over with. Oh, you actually came. I wasn't expecting this at all. Still, I, I assure you, if I didn't think I had to come, I wouldn't have. Do I not have to be here? Do I not have to be here? Because I, I for sure will leave. I, I'm gonna leave at once. If I really don't have to be here, before we do that, why not take it slow? I would love to get to know you first. You seem rather interested. Interesting. You know zero about me. I seem interesting based on what? Based on my snatched outfit? I'm. You don't know anything about me. I could be the most boring person on earth. I'm out of here. Make yourself at home, sweetie. Ew, I'm out of here. He's my nightmare. This is my nightmare. Absolutely. I'm out of here. Where the hell is Magazine? I need to yell at him. I'm yelling at Magazine. Magazine, we're in a fight. <laughs> What the hell was that? We have two hearts, which is a big deal, and you weren't there for me? What the hell was that? Wow, he is feeling insecure. Maybe he didn't talk because he was feeling really insecure and shy. And maybe he's feeling insecure and he's thinking like, oh, she doesn't like me. Like she wants another guy and she was trying to see, he was trying to like gauge what would happen with an incel if I if I was approached by an incel as if I would go for that. I don't know. I'm trying to justify this. I'm so sad that he wasn't there for me, but we'll see. We'll see where it goes. I think he's in his feelings right now. I think he's having a bad mental health day. Between Ryan Quoto, who do you like more? I mean- God, it's like asking me between like allergies and and the flu. What do I like more? I don't know. Uh, I guess Quoto. Ah, uh, I thought you got along with him pretty well. I find his feelings and concerns sort of hard to understand. What? Okay. I mean, that's really mature of you to admit, but I, I don't think that they, we need to understand them. I think that it's just that they're still valid. Oh, he's really in his feelings today. I think he's having a bad mental health day and that's okay. I think you're pretty brave for deciding to come along with us to the constellations. Thanks. Nobody else understands how brave this is of me. I, I agree, actually. I'm probably only as brave as you are. 
You think so? I think there's a lot of things I'm afraid of. Oh my God. Okay, he's got me back. He got me back with this sad boy stuff because I think that he's having just, a, he's having an off day. He wasn't feeling confident enough to stick up for me and that's okay. I can stick up for myself. I don't need a man jumping in and sticking up for me actually. I think I handled myself pretty well back there and I think that Rye, if anything, was overstepping. <laughs> yes, I have successfully justified this and I'm, ba I'm back on Team Mag. He's so sweet. He's like, don't worry. I might be the captain of the ship. I might be so incredibly strong and intelligent and stoic, but there's a lot of things I'm afraid of. This is my kind of man. Is your hair common on earth? It sure is. Um, I I'm gonna ask about the blue hair, even though I'm sure it's common. What about you? Is blue hair common where you're from? I guess it's not the most common color, but it's not rare either. Aw. I hope someday my country can put more efforts to protect an indi- <laughs> That's it. And there goes the battle. <laughs> oh my God. Are you reading this right now? Okay, let's start that over. This is what he said. I hope someday my country can put more efforts to protect endangered species. But with all the war and conflict going on, conservation isn't really anyone's focus. Hello, what the hell is this? This is my dream man? What? Are you kidding me? I had no idea I was walking into this. Did he really say this? Is this Okay. All right. He's into conservation and endangered species. I can't believe it. Yep. All is forgiven. You know what? Honestly, Mag, you could spit in my face right now and I'd still be into you. I'm just saying. Let's have a real conversation. Why is there war? Seems like people can't exist without war. Ah, oh, he's my man. I would have said the same thing because I'm, I'm dramatic and deep. I love this. It's getting bad because our technology is becoming more destructive. But I have hope that people would all agree that we would have nothing if our planet was gone. <laughs> Am I not saying this every day? Am I not always saying this? It's That's the truth. It doesn't matter. Money, politics, all that stuff. Nothing matters if we fuck up our planet. He's my man. This man was designed for me. It, it, was he not? Ooh, okay. I love this. This is really taking a turn for the, for the juicy. What's that pink star charm you carry with you? If you don't mind me asking, he's very polite. Oh my God. I would totally say it's my treasure. I see. It's very pretty. I would treasure something like that also. Do you think people can exist without conflict? That's the kind of shit my dramatic ass asks everybody all the time, constantly. All my friends are trying to have a fun, positive day. And I'm like, do you think people can exist without conflict? <laughs> and they're like, Amanda, stop. Uh, not really. But I think, does he want me to say yes? You know what? He needs this right now. I think he's having a bad mental health day. And I think he just needs this right now. Interesting. I think it's somewhat hard to imagine, but I definitely think the possibility is there. I'm in love with him. Can you believe it? Can y'all believe it? He's a conservation boy? I'm in, I'm, that's it. I don't think that there's anybody that I could meet. What is going on? What is this? Oh my God, look at Vanny. Vanny's our mom. Vanny is our mom. And he got on to me for having short hair, but he's literally a, a mom. I mean, he's an asshole. He's, he, we're not friends. We're not getting along. We're not talking currently, but I love him. I would love to know his story, but I don't have time. Vanny is yelling at us, which is, you know, I love that. How can you people live like this? This place is filthy. I mean, he's right. <laughs> it is. It's because of all these men. I'm sure magazine has nothing to do with it. It's probably honestly all wry. Rye did this. Yep, yep, confirmed. Rye confirmed did this. Everything looks fine to me. Shut up, Rye. This place is far from fine. It's unlivable. It's true. He's right. I will punch. Ooh. Vanny, chill. I will punch the next person who doesn't clean up after themselves. Vanny, I, that's not cool. Oh my God. Was I not just calling him my mom? We're on the same page. He goes, we made mom mad. Magazine, you're going to get punched. Okay, let's, uh, oh, wow, I forget to, I've, like, forgot, I feel like I've forgotten to, who is this? Saki? Meep, 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 I, I'm in love. He's my man. Saki, can I learn more about you? Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go do mag again. Why not, right? Universe I-15 is where I met Rai. I remember he looked very empty and depressed. I didn't think much of it at the time, but looking back, that was strange. Wait, Rai? Rai was depressed? Rai is a sad boy? 
Hmm, interesting. He seems really upbeat and happy now. He does. I wonder if he's hurting deep down and just putting up a front when he's with us. Wow, Rai the, Rai the complex character. Rai the sad boy. Well, I don't care. Good thing I don't care. What are your friends like? <laughs> Sweetheart, I don't have any friends. My friends died. My friend died on my birthday. My only friend died right on my birthday. He flopped right down and died right before my very eyes on my birthday. So I wouldn't call that a friend. Oh, you don't have any friends back home? I'm glad that you see us as friends though. I'm sure the others care about you a lot already. I do also. <laughs> God. Yep, you heard it here first, folks. Magazine is simping for me. Do you mind sleeping in the high-rise bed? He's so concerned about me. Since the moment I met him, he's been concerned about my well-being and I am totally into it. I'm into a guy that is into my overall health and well-being. I love this. What if I said this? Would he let me sleep in his bed? I don't I don't want to be a nuisance. I don't want to impose. If I was a bolder woman, if I was Diana, if I was more like Anka or Diana, I would say this, but I think I'm just going to say I like it. Oh my god. He goes, that's good to hear. I actually don't like them too much. Sometimes I fall out of bed. <gasps> My baby! He falls out of bed? I will punch every bed you fall out of. I'm serious. Oh, and I can give him gifts now. If only I knew what he liked. I've been known to sleepwalk when I'm worried about something. I think it's been a long time since that happened to me, though. Are you worried about something? I have been feeling kind of strange lately, to be honest. I'm not really sure what's wrong with me. I'm in love. I'm in love. He thinks something's wrong with him. He feels strange. He's sad. I'm in love. You know I love this. Oh my god. He's so sweet and cute. I'm, I'm eating this up, obviously. I'm sure you're a great dancer already. He goes, do you have any pets? Yeah. Oh, do they have names? If I had a pet, I would like a pet bear. Oh my God, he's so cute. He doesn't know how pets work. So he thinks he can have a pet bear, like casually. I love him. I'm in love. And you know what? Magazine, I'm gonna get you a bear. I'm gonna get you your pet bear. If it's the last thing I do, it'll be a rescue, of course. It'll be like the type of bear that can't go to back to the wild no matter what. And we're gonna give him a big, huge like sanctuary. He's not gonna be like a pet because he shouldn't have wild animals as pet, like wi totally wild animals like that but we're gonna get this man a bear. I don't care, he's gonna be a rescue bear. We're gonna have a huge sanctuary, a bear sanctuary, me and Mag forever. All right, let's go to another planet. Is this the last planet right here, this one? Is this the last one? Wow, all right. Oh no, what's going on? Magazine says, oh, what does that mean? Something's wrong. Oh God, I'll be back. I need to check something. Magazine, be careful, be careful. Raya says, so we're going to universe G83 next, the one with Uranus? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We got to be mature about this. We have to be mature. Every universe has a Uranus. That universe's Uranus just has human life on it. You know what I mean. Rai, shut up. W wait, I see something coming closer to us. Oh God, we're going to crash. A space rock? Get magazine. It's going to hit us. Oh, cool. We're having a crash. Cool. Love it. We're having an accident. We're having a whole disaster. Great. Love it. Interstellar. Here we go. We'll crash by the time we get him back. Cool. I love this, actually. I hope I get attention. I hope I get a little hurt. I'm hurt. Yes, I love this. Magazine, give me attention. <laughs> I need to be fixed. Okay, I'm fine. Am I fine? Where am I? This is bad. Where did everyone else go? I knew you would come. Who is this? <gasps> Um, hello. Hi to you too. What the, what is this? Ooh, she's cute. <gasps> she's so cute. She's a peppy. She's our peppy villager. Here she is right here. We really have them all. We have them all. This is our peppy villager. Then we have uh, Mag is the smug. Rye is the jock. Quoto is the lazy. Vanny is the cranky. And then what is her name? What was her name again? Fora. Fora is the snooty. <gasps> We really have all of them. This is Animal Crossing. Hi, hello. I just found out that this pack the seas game is actually Animal Crossing. I love it. Yep, it's true. She's the peppy. Is she not a peppy villager? Of course she is. You can't tell me? That's okay. What did she ask? I'm a Romany. Nice to meet you, Amanda. How does she know my name? Are you psychic? Girl, are you psychic? Come here, girl. Come here. We gotta talk. Are you psychic? Because I might be psychic too. This is my psychic queen. You've been appearing in my dreams. Weird, right? I don't really get it either. Oh my God, she's totally a peppy, weird woo-woo girl. I love her. She's like a little witch. I love her. I'm in love. But it's nice to finally meet you. I have so many questions. Aramini, you're my girl. I'm in love. If it doesn't work out with Magazine, if he died in the crash, I'm yours. You don't know anything about me, I'm guessing. Have you ever seen me in a dream? Uh, no. Huh, weird. Anyway, welcome to Minnetonka. I hope you like it here. I, I have to go now, but I want to see you again. She's in love with me. I love this. I can't wait to talk to you some 
anymore. How cute is she? She is the type of girl that just totally steals your heart. She's a quirky ass girl for sure. I'll be at the palace. Bye, Amanda. Oh my God, I love her. She's so quirky. Look at her little face paint. The fishtail braid. She's killing it. Okay, what's going on, men? Where the hell is Rai? Oh, he's, oh, look at him, look at his face. He's so worried about me. I'm getting attention, I love it. I'm I'm gonna limp a little. I'm gonna be like, well, Amanda, I act like you're a little hurt. I just wanna savor this moment. This man is concerned about me. I love this. The drama, oh, I live. <sighs> Amanda, you could have totally milked that. He goes, are you all right? I'm like, yeah. I guess. I mean, I hurt my leg back there a little. I'm like kind of bleeding a little on my foot. I like twisted my ankle. <laughs> Come on, milk it. He could have, like, what if he carried you? Like if he carried me up to the ship and he like laid me down. Oh, Amanda, you flubbed it. Where's Rye? Oh my God, where is Rye? <laughs> he died. I'm so, I should not be. Oh my God. Rye died? He died? You guys, this went dark. He died? Oh my God, he's really dead. Rai died. Imagine if you were like invested in Rai. I don't know how, but imagine somebody is invested in Rai and then he fucking straight up dies in the mid in the home stretch. He died. I can't believe it. Oh my God. <gasps> Look at my baby. I'm really mad at Rai for dying and making my magazine, my mag feel bad. It's not your fault. He goes, it's my fault. I was careless. If I had maintained the ship better, this wouldn't have happened. Oh my God, you guys, Rai straight up fucking die. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. It's not funny, but it's kind of a little bit funny. If, if it had to be anybody, I'm glad it was Rai. <laughs> oh my god this is beyond my wildest dream i can't believe this. so i can either say i can't believe raya's gone or i can say guess we just have to move on and i'm doing it guess we just have to move on boys what oh my god what i just got trolled oh my god why would you joke about they go, Amanda, we're joking. You guys, I'm sorry, My on my planet, we don't joke about people straight up dying after we got in a crash. It's like, imagine getting in a car crash and you're in the hospital and you wake up and you're like, how's everybody doing? And one of, the, one of your friends, your friends are like, oh, one of our friends died. Imagine that. That's not what we do on our planet, boys. I was really excited for a second there. We were curious what your reaction would be. Well, I guess now you know that I hate Rye, that I don't give a goddamn flying F about about Rye. I guess you guys know. I guess the secret's out. I was positive that you wouldn't miss him. I thought that Amanda cared about him at least a little, if anything. Nope. <laughs> Not. Nope. You were wrong. You had too much faith in me. He's resting in his room. Not sure if he's awake yet. I don't care. And you know what? I'm disappointed. I thought he was dead. <laughs> magazine you saved our lives not him don't give him any credit no rush mag i'm gonna stretch my legs a bit don't forget to get changed oh right these outfits were a bit more difficult to make but they turned out to look just like your sketches oh he sketches too my man my kind of man Yes, the locals of Minnetonka do dress a bit differently. Oh, I can't wait. We're going to be camp. It's going camp. We're going to be camp as fuck. I can't wait. Oh, shit. I forgot about Paverville. What is Paverville? I totally forgot he even existed. Is he? He's normal. Even though he's a guy. He's a normie. It's fine. Look at this little pastel town. I love it. Who do we got? Ew, I thought you were dead. I was so excited, but look at us. Look at my little face paint. Cute, cute. She's looking cute. He looks like shit. I can't believe that happened. They really were just like, he died. I'm sorry. Can you imagine? We don't do that here, boys. <laughs> Where's my baby at the country? <gasps> look at him. Oh my God, I can't handle this. I love it. I love everything that I'm seeing. I love the gloves. I love the paint. Oh my God, we're going to Coachella. I love him. Are you by any chance scared of me? This is my bag, you guys. I love this. A sad, soft boy who's like, I don't want to scare you. Are you scared of me? I love this. Ah, huh? Why would I be? 
<gasps> oh my god, a mystery. A mystery. <laughs> I love a mystery. I love a dark past. He's got a dark past. What's that scar? What's up with that scar? Why would I be why would I be scared of you, magazine? I'm just gonna ask, what's a hobby of yours? Oh my god, my man. Hello. He's my dream boy. He's actually my soulmate from across the stars. I'm not sure if it's a hobby, but I sure do like petting soft things. I am in love with you. <gasps> what? <laughs> Oh my God, look at him, he's blushing. This is tea, Ah, oh, I can't handle this. I need to go take a walk. I mean, oh my God. He goes, do you like me? In what way? Oh, um, you like me as a friend, right? Ah, oh, Mag, I think you know, I think we both know. Were you pretty close to the person you're trying to bring back to life from the constellations? Ooh, he's feeling some sort of way. Ooh, and I can get the tea, I'm gonna say, of course, isn't it the same for you? I guess I'm not really that close to the person I want to bring back. Oh my God, what? Okay, whew, so I can breathe a sigh of relief because I don't think that it's like a girlfriend that he's traveling across the stars for. Oh, thank God. Whew, okay. So who are you trying to bring back? What is going on? What is this? I am intrigued. I'm so intrigued. Keep chatting. I've I've long sent him. I've sent the boy into a spiral. He is, he's, that's it. He wanted the tea. He said, were you close to this person? He was hoping that I would say like, yeah, you know, they were my boyfriend. I didn't. And so he closed his eyes and he went for it. He's like, I got to know. And he goes, I don't mean to dig into your business, but are you going to the constellations for a lover? Ah, uh, he is completely simping for me and I love it. No, he was a friend. Oh, I see. That's a relief. <laughs> Yo, I am really an adult, like a grown ass adult sitting here. Absolutely squirming in my chair. I just like was just dancing in my chair, wiggling and dancing in my chair as a grown adult because he is in love with me. My crush likes me back. Ah, yeah, magazine's my boy. Magazine is my bag. Aronomy, is that her name, Aronomy? It's not gonna work, sorry. Oh, I love this little dress though. How cute, how cute. We're all eating breakfast. Amanda, Vanny made breakfast. It's actually really good. Rye. Thank you so much, Sherlock. I can see that. Shut up, idiot. This seems more like dinner food to me. Oh, my baby, P cook him whatever he wants. If he doesn't want this, then cook him something else, Vanny. Vanny says, huh? Rice or soup for breakfast is typical back in Yulos. A what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the boy has got his box off. He's got the box off his head. Oh my God. What? All that for that? For He's cute. No, he's cute. I like this. This is very Raymond. It's very anime. I love it. Honestly, in like anime and stuff, I usually like the boy with like the gray hair. Yeah, I like it. He's handsome. He's very handsome. He's got the long hair. I love it. We all have the same hair. I just noticed actually. And I love it. It's the best kind of hair. Um, And we're all just staring at him and I'm continuing to stare because Quoto has got his box off his head. He's got blue eyes. He's got gray hair, silver hair. And I can't believe it. I thought that I was going to have to go do his whole path to, to see this. Oh, my God. We are all getting the scoop. Wow. I'm just basking in it. Okay. Wow. Hi. You got your box off. Uh-oh. Oh, poor Quoto. How embarrassing. His life is just embarrassment after embarrassment. Poor Quoto. Please forget what you saw. Okay. Okay, Quoto. Huh, where did all this food come from? Poor Quoto. He ha he's a mess. Vanny's like, I cooked it. Quoto says, you prepared all this? You monkeys look like slobs and don't even consider eating proper meals. If no one's going to make some order around here, then I guess I'll have to. I love him. He's a sweetheart. He is such a sundier. This is my soaps. What did I tell you? I can't believe we saw Quoto's face. He ain't shit. No, he's cute. He's cute. He is cute. I got to get Mag some, some gifts. I don't really know what he likes, though. Ugh, what is he going to like? Shit. Let's just try a bunch of stuff and see what he likes. Because I know I remember from the games last time, like some of the stuff they like and some of the stuff they don't. I'm just going to get two cakes because they're cheap. Oh, I don't have enough brank. Nice. I earned 20 brank. I'm going to get some some cakes because they're cheap. I got money on other planets, too. So I got to go get some other stuff. And then, yeah, I'll spend the rest of my energy talking to my boyfriend. My boyfriend! I guess he's not my boyfriend yet. I'm rushing it a little. I'm jumping the gun. <gasps> oh, my God. 
Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, what? There's something I've been thinking about lately. Can we talk? Uh, yeah. <gasps> a cutscene. A cutscene. Oh my god. We're on a dance floor. Is this a dance floor? What is this? Oh, an observation deck? What? This is the observation deck. It's my favorite room in the ship. Have you ever heard of the paradox about the ship? What? No? Every ship requires maintenance. Sometimes parts have to be replaced to keep it running. What if every part on the ship was replaced over time? And if you took the old parts and reassembled them into a ship, which would be the original ship? What? Why is he doing this to me right now? This is very deep. He's trying to be deep. He's trying to be deep. Is this a quiz? Uh-oh. I guess it would be the same ship. Yeah, the ship we've been in. Yeah. Think so? I actually think the same. Oh my God, he thinks the same. We're in love, we're in love. Oh my God, he's being so deep and edgy and so dramatic right now. I love this. This is my man. I'm telling you, I am overly dramatic, as you know, and he is too. He's being so overly dramatic right now. He's doing a whole soliloquy. It makes me wonder what makes people as we know them. Every day, every moment, cells and atoms in our body die off and they are replaced. He's totally me. I'm so dramatic like this. DNA and structure our bodies on what to do with the new cells. It knows how to keep building us, maintaining us. So dramatic. I love it. But what if that blueprint used those cells and atoms that were no longer a part of me and created another me? He is being so fucking extra right now. It's not even funny. And I'm eating it up because this is so unnecessary. He's just going off. He's trying to sound so deep, which would be the true me. What? Why would you even ask this? This is so dramatic. Sorry, I'm rambling. I've given it a lot of thought, but I was actually troubled for a while. I thought, if there was another Amanda made from your cells and atoms, which Amanda would I fall in love with? Oh my god. What? He's in love with me. But that's all silly, right? The Amanda I love is you. The one who I've been watching this whole time. Oh my god, I hope I didn't do anything stupid. He loves me. This is, I'm eating this up. This is my soaps. I told you. I don't know when I fell in love with you, but now I finally realize it. Ah, oh, oh my God. I know exactly when I fell in love with you, Mag. It was just at, at once. Falling in love with magazine was like falling asleep. Slowly and then all at once. We're so fucking dramatic. It's not even funny. And I, I, I live for it. This is what I live for. I'm so glad you came on this journey, but I'm also afraid that I might lose you. Like nothing has happened to indicate that that could happen. And we're so dramatic that he's like, I'm going to lose you. I don't want you to die. Like that's totally me. I'm in love with this. I'm obsessed. He's my man for sure. He's a dramatic extra boy and so am I. Please let me protect you. Magazine, I'm eating this up. You have just completely you said everything i wanted to hear everything what an alien i can't believe that he's an alien named magazine and he's this way he's so extra i love this he wants to protect me y'all find yourself an alien okay the reason that you're fine you're having a hard time finding a man is because you're on planet Earth. Go outside the planet for two seconds and you're gonna find yourself a dramatic sad boy named Magazine who's gonna beg you to let him protect you. No matter what you choose or where you go, Amanda, I will follow you until the end. I mean, I'm, I'm so loving this. How do I even look Matt in the eyes after this? <laughs> How do I even look him in the eyes? I'm having a whole entire relationship with this man. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do we even come back from this? I can't even look at him. We just had an, a moment amongst the stars and I have to go to bed. I can't even say a single word to him after that. Oh, my God. Runs away crying. <laughs> I can't believe it, Vanny. Don't even look at me. I'm taken. I'm taken, boys. I flop into my bed. I flop into my bed and I'm just like, he loves me. I'm listening to music. The next day, I come down the stairs singing. I never knew. I never knew. You could hold moonlight in your hands till the night I held you. Oh, 
never mind. We're not singing anymore. Oh my God. Uh, we're having like an awkward moment. I love this. Oh my God. This is like the first time we're talking after what happened last day. Ah! Hey, why would I talk about this? Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> I guess I was just wondering, it seemed like you were hesitant to let Vanny come along, but for me, you didn't seem to mind at all. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> my emo boy, my sad boy. Look at him. Oh, that's right. I had no problem with you coming aboard. Something tells me that Vanny wants to go to the constellations for the wrong reasons. Oh, what? What is this tea? But I can't say that any of us are really going for a good reason. That's true. I mean, it's honestly fucked up, right? People of Earth also believe that reviving the deceased is a serious crime. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm just gonna say, I don't know, I guess I'm just selfish. Because <gasps> we're in love. He goes, I feel the same way, Amanda. Even if others may say that it's wrong, I'm glad that I'm not alone. Mag? You will never be alone. Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Where do I go now? Is there anywhere I haven't been? Where the hell have I not been? What what more do we have to do? Do I have to go on a date with that guy? I've already been everywhere. Maybe I just have to like keep hanging out with my man. I think that's probably what I have to do. Oh my God, I'm in love with him. Let's see. Okay, it's gonna be like a little awkward, but not really. Like we just had like a big moment, but it's fine. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh, thanks for listening to me. I know my feelings are selfish, but I thought it would be right to let you know how I feel. Oh, it is. It's always right. Please always tell me how you feel. Oh my God. I want to say I feel the same way, but I also really want to know how long have you felt this way? I think he needs to hear that I feel the same way though. I feel the same way. Do you? Oh, that's a surprise. See, he didn't know. He needed to hear it. I wasn't expecting that, but that does make me happy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my God, he's so shy. He's my man. He's my man. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I was just thinking about how much I really enjoy talking to you like this. <gasps> I remember when we first met, I could tell that you'd been crying. Your eyes were all red and puffy. I wish I could go back in time and comfort you properly. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> He's like so perfect because it was my birthday. Let, let, sit, let's sit down. I got to tell you about that day actually because you need to comfort me right now because it was my birthday. I'm going all the way across the damn galaxy for this man. I let him use my crayons and he had the audacity to, to flop over and die on my birthday birthday right in front of me. I know I've been through a lot so you should be there for me and give me attention. <laughs> the thought is already enough. If you ever cry again, <laughs> my God, we are so dramatic. If you ever cry again, I promise that I would be there for you. It's the least I can do. And you know what? He's right actually. It is the least he can do. And I love that he acknowledges that. He's not trying to be this big like oh, I'm there for you because I'm an amazing man. He's like no, that's the least I can do. He's like literally beating himself up for not being there for me when he first just met me and he was a complete stranger. I love this man. <gasps> He's asking me out on a date. Okay. Oh my God. I hope that the cake is enough. I hope I have enough cake for him. Oh God. Because I got to have enough gifts, right? I think I have a couple of pieces of cake for him. Would you want to go somewhere with me? Uh, okay. I'm ready whenever you are. No need to rush though. You know what? I think I'm going to go get you some more gifts so that I can make sure to really appease you. Because I remember, even though it's been like nine years since I played these games, I do remember that you got to have enough gifts for these men. They're greedy. Can you believe it? Oh, remember when we went here and we met Redis and Parvival? He was cute. I kind of don't even want to look at him. <gasps> I'm going to get him some flowers, you know, because he seems like the type of guy. He's like breaking gender roles, you know? I'm gonna get him some flowers. And you know what? I have just, an, no, I think I can make more money if I go over, ugh, as much as I don't wanna see Parverville because it's gonna be awkward because we had a little bit of a thing. <gasps> no, uh, I don't have enough energy. Can I talk to Parverville? He's cute. Next time, Parverville, next time. <gasps> I'm kind of curious about you too. Your name is kind of interesting. Never met a person named that before. Uh, Parverville, I can't even say your friggin' name. Not as weird as yours, weirdo. Oh, he's getting me. Okay, I gotta get out of here. He's dangerous, ladies. He's dangerous, ladies and men. Men, the girls and the gays need to watch out for Parverville. <laughs> he's dangerous. I love shit like this. Oh, he's dangerous. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I flirted with another man as I'm 
on a gift run for my literal boyfriend. Interesting. Amanda, you're a gem. You're a fucking treasure. <gasps> what is this? I'm trying to go on a date with my man. What is this? Hey, shouldn't we be getting closer to the constellations? Yes, we can actually make it our next stop. R really? Finally, there was something I was hoping to see while on this journey. Just once, I would love to meet a panda. Oh my God, my man, my man, my man. Pandas are on Earth. Yeah, I know the pan. I got I got a panda guy. I really do. Pandas aren't extinct on your planet. Oh my God, I'm in love. No, not on our planet. We didn't fuck it up on my planet. Not yet, at least. What are you doing? We're going back to Earth. I love this man. We're about to dismantle the entire mission to go see pandas. This is my man. Hello, this is my man. Cause it, can everybody see? this hello not on my watch oh leave my man alone vanny get out of here i'm i'm doing a citizen's arrest i must seriously though mag we should probably go to the constellation shut up rye oh we're going to the constellations i want to go see a panda with my man i gotta go talk to my man oh my god i love him hold on whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. hold on hold the phone several phones actually give me your phone everybody give me your phone so i can hold them i want to hold everybody's phone because this is ridiculous. He goes, part of me feels bad being this close to you because I know that Rye likes you a lot. What in God's name made Rye think that there was ever, ever, ever going to be a chance? Rye is my sworn enemy. There is nothing on this planet or any of the planets that we have explored in, in great detail that would ever lead Rye to believe that I like him or that there's ever a chance. Rye's crazy. Rye's dreaming. Uh, yeah, no, I like you. I guess that's how things are, aren't they? I respect him though. If you choose him in the end, I would also, hold on. Whoa. No, 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 no. We got to read this again because this is ridiculous. Mag, did you not see me cry tears of joy and jump up and down like a little girl at a parade when you told me that he was dead, that he had died in the, in the crash? I celebrated his death and I was disappointed when you told me it was a joke. You have nothing to worry about. If you choose him in the end, I would also not interfere despite feeling feeling rejected and hurt. He's so dramatic. I think I should tell you. Last night, I was sleepwalking, but when I woke up, I was standing right outside your room. Oh my god, look at his face. What, why do you think that happened? I don't know, to be honest. It surprised me very much. Maybe I felt like I wanted to see you. Oh my god, I eat this up. I've been alone much of my life, and I've been fine, but you're really the first person I don't ever want to lose. Yeah, definitely that. I want to poke a little bit at his like tragic backstory just to make him a little bit more emotional. You don't have to be alone anymore. Thank you. It's truly a gift to me. <gasps> he loves me. He loves me. He loves me. The captain of the ship loves me and everybody needs to start listening to me and treating me with the respect I deserve, okay? Because I am the captain of the ship's girlfriend and you need to show some respect. <laughs> me and Magazine, an alien from Saturn. See, I told you alien abduction is not always a bad thing. Sometimes it can be great. Sometimes it's gonna lead you to a true love connection, like, <laughs> like my experience. Magazine, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. He goes, oh, my heart's racing so fast. I, I wish I felt more normal, but it feels exciting and odd because this is such a new experience, right? I really do care about you a lot. I hope you don't forget that ever. I care about you a lot also. He's really tripping. He is tripping, ladies. He's tripping for me. Oh my God. He goes, I feel the same. I've never felt someone care about me the way you do. I almost don't know what to do because I know this is so special. He's really really in deep. I've got him wrapped around my finger. I love this. This is my this is my absolute moment for life. I don't care. Okay, I'm back. I'm back after some much needed rest and I'm back to talk to you cuz I love you. Should I go on a date with him? <gasps> what? Did you change something about yourself? I'm just in love. I don't know. Do you see something different? Yes, you look more pretty. I I'm not sure why he is an absolute catch. He's a dreamboat. He really is. He's just a complete heartthrob. Oh, wait. This is a conversation we've already had. Okay. I think that means I need to go on a date with him. <gasps> Shit. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I want to go talk to somebody else. I'm going to talk to him just for fun, you know, just to fuck with him. I feel like Mum Ryan hogs the bathroom more than anyone else around here. Who? 
you know, the kid with the black hair. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah, he probably does. Those guys keep asking me about these cheese turnovers. I honestly have no idea what they're talking about. I have no idea either. My guess is that they accidentally injected them into space or left them on some planet. I get, I just don't think it's that deep. I really don't. I think we should just drop it completely. Yeah, I'm out of here, Vanny. I'm out of here. I don't have time to unpack your shit. I really don't. He's got a lot of issues. If anything, he might be a villain. Maybe he's Rizzo in disguise. I don't know. I don't know. Because Mag had a bad feeling about him. Mag's like, I don't think that he's going for the right reasons. I'm like, oh my God, is this tea? He's like, I don't know. I'm in love with you. I'm like, I am in love with you too. He's like, I'm obsessed with you. <gasps> We're going on a date. Hello. We're on a date. I'm really enjoying this. I hope we can do this a lot more. Me too, magazine. For the rest of our lives, actually, is what I'm hoping. Even though I visited this planet before, it feels different when I'm here with you. Do you feel that way too? Oh my God. Yes, I was just thinking the same thing. Let's give him one of our gifts. Oh, he loves it. Yay. He loves flowers because he's a soft boy. He says, oh, thank you, Amanda. This is lovely. I know. He goes, I think about you a lot. I really do admire you. I hope you don't mind that about me. I don't mind at all. I love when men are obsessed with me. Ooh, it said, hmm, the mood doesn't really feel right. I can talk to my man whenever the hell I want to, but okay, I'll give him another gift. How about some cake? Oh, thank you, Amanda. This is lovely. He loved it. I have five stars. I think it's time. He just asked for a consent. He's a king. He's a king. He's a king. He goes, if it's okay with you, Amanda. Oh my God. I can't believe it. This is my peak. I've hit my peak. I'm hitting. I'm peaking. I'm peaking right now, everybody. I can't believe it. Look at the yellow turtleneck. He's a he's a prize. He is the prize. Are, am I trying to go out to get somebody off the constellations? I forget. I don't know. I kind of want the tea on other guys, but whatever. I think it's like almost time to go to the constellations, right? Ew. Ew, I'm out of here. I hate this. This is like Lindbergh shit. I hate it. Let's talk to Rye just for like whatever, just for fun. Ew, I hate him. I hate him. Look at the weird, I hate it. So how about it? How does it feel to be on a space adventure? What an idiot. I'm just doing what I have to. Haha, <laughs> I guess we all are. Might as well see some positivity in it though, right? He's a toxic positivity. I'm out of here. How's Quoto? How's Quoto doing? Hey, Quoto, what's up? I don't want to talk to him, actually. I decided I want to kind of keep poking at Vanny. No, you know what? As much as I... No, yeah, I'm going to keep poking at Vanny. So, what planet are you from? Earth? Oh, that's the one with a lot of water, right? Interesting. Hey, level with me for a second. Has anything weird happened to you when you've used the bathroom? Apparently, this is the fucking talk of the town. No. Really? Jeez, maybe I'm just going crazy then. Maybe. I'm gaslighting him, unfortunately. <laughs> oh my god, he's such an ass. What's the deal with Boxhead? Ooh, I think I just turned him down. I forgot. I know we can't get to the constellations in just one go, but do we really have to stop at all these other places? Um, do you have a problem with that? No, I just wish we could get there faster. Yeah, well, Vanny. Oh, Vanny's got a heart. Vanny's tripping. Vanny's tripping for me. Uh oh. Oh my God, what? What is going on? Is this a dream? Did you listen to that song, Amanda? You should listen to it. The lyrics reminded me of you. I like it a lot. I think of you every time I listen to it. Why did I deserve that? <laughs> Why did I deserve that? Hi, I'm sad right now and I'm gonna give you a present. Oh, he's so cute. What do you like, apples? <gasps> Yikes, yikes, I gave him the wrong thing. Nice, cool. Oh, I hate it, I hate my life. I hate my life, take me away, take me away. Somebody take me away and lock me up forever where I can never hurt anyone ever again. He goes, I'm not too fond of apples. Maybe I could find someone else who would like this. Yikes, Mag, why can't you just fake it? You can't just fake it? I guess he's, I guess I got a, a man that'll never lie to me. Never, not even when he should. <laughs> I, I will never give you an apple again. In fact, I'll burn all of these apples. Okay, I think I'm just wasting time at this point. Let's just kill some time. Let's go like poke Vanny some more. Let's make Vanny think we like him. Why does everyone just leave junk laying around wherever they go? I can't believe how you guys live the way you do. I'm, that's not me. Listen, that is not on me, okay? Jeez, it's not a big deal. I've put it off long enough. I think we need to go to the constellations. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna lose him. What is gonna happen? All right, let's do this, okay. Are you sure you wanna go to the constellations? This will end your game. Oh no, okay. If you have a high relationship with a character, you'll be able to choose to end the game with them. 
Sounds good. Okay, here we are. We're at the constellations. Oh my god. Am I even ready for this? Am I even ready for this? Like, we came all this way. Rye, the dumbass, says, what's with all the chairs? Wow, yeah, I just noticed all the chairs. There are a lot of chairs, aren't there? Wow. Oh, Mag. Mag knows. Mag has always got an answer. Here are the seats of those who have passed. When you sit down, they stand up. Uh-oh. <gasps> For me, honestly, what that means, you have to friggin' sacrifice your own life for them. I bet that's what it's gonna be. What does that mean? Did you just hear me, Quoto? I just explained it, I think. Yep, Vanny. Thank you, Vanny. The one thing you said right. I think it's pretty clear. There he goes. Off he goes. When you find the chair belonging to the person you're looking for, sitting in their chair will bring them back to life. But I'm not sure what will happen to us when we do. <gasps> Mag, look at me. Listen, you don't sit in the chair. I don't care who it is. How are we supposed to find the right chair when there are so many? Well, we came all this way, so we have to start somewhere. Yeah, let's go find our chairs. Be careful, everyone. Meet back here after you find who you're looking for. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, baby, this is crazy. Because, like, at the end of the day, I don't think this game is going to let me bring Lee back to life because that's just not something that's able to happen. I don't think I'm just going to be able to waltz back onto Earth like, hey, everybody, remember Lee who died of cancer? Here he is. Yep, you're right. That's right. I went all the way to the constellations. That's a thing. You know, like, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think that that's just not the moral of the story, you know? Let's see what we got here. Don't, Amanda. <gasps> Lee! Oh, and he's so handsome. He's got his hair. Hi, Lee. What's up? I miss you. He's like a ghost. I've always wanted to see a ghost. Now is my moment. I Oh, my God. My moment for life. I see ghosts and aliens in the same trip. I love this. And I found love with an alien. This is the best. Oh, yeah, my friend. He's dead. Okay. Anyway. Hey, Amanda. It's really you. I kept having these dreams about you. Oh, I miss you. I miss you too, Amanda. But you're not alone anymore. You made some new friends, right? I'm sure they're waiting for you right now. Yeah, Lee, I actually have a boyfriend now. His name's Magazine. I know it's weird, but he's an alien. So um, I really would love for you to meet him. Um, He's, I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's dealing with right now though, but it's just, I just know that I'm happy and that he's so good to me. I wish we could go back to how things were. I want to be with you again so badly. You gave me so much while I was alive. Thanks for everything. Oh my god, Lee, tell me the tea. Before you leave, you gotta tell me the tea. What were you gonna tell me? Not everyone who dies ends up here in the constellations. There's a reason why I'm here. Do you know why? Because you didn't let me go, Amanda. Oh, this is pur like purgatory. Oh no. I need you to let go of me. Please congratulate me for living a beautiful life. It was only beautiful because you were in it. I wish it could be a part of your life again, but it's just not meant to be. Even if I came back to life, I would die again eventually. Don't sit in my chair, okay? This time I'll say goodbye properly, okay? Wait. Thank you for everything. Don't go. Bye, Amanda. Are you kidding me? Lee, after all that, uh, he didn't tell me the tea. What? Interesting. I don't know. What was the tea? Do you think he was in love with me? Do you think that he just wanted to say thank you for making his life great? I guess I'll never know. I, I'm not going to sit though. I have a life to live. Lee. Goodbye, Lee. That sucks. That's so sad. Oh, that's devastating. What should I do? I don't know. Go marry Magazine. Where's Mag? Who the hell do you think? I don't know. Magazine? Should I look for a Magazine? Ah, uh, duh. <gasps> My baby. Oh, Amanda. Did you find your chair? This one is mine. Who the hell is that? Key? Who is Key? I knew it. When I found myself here, I knew it was because of you. Why? I thought I told you to escape and go live your life. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for you. I had to come. I never got to repay you for anything. Don't bother. When you sit in that chair, you'll be here forever. That's a price I'm absolutely willing to pay. Um, hello, magazine. I'm right here. What? You told me you would never leave me. And now you're ready to... Oh, my God. Who even is this man? You've never mentioned him once. Magazine. Don't let my death go to waste. Yeah, listen to Key. Key's my boy. You did so much. You're proof that a single person could make such a difference. He's... I mean, magazine is so dramatic like he's so dramatic he came here for like a guy he didn't even know because he's so dramatic i love this i love this man i can't accept this outcome key and that's exactly why i'm here magazine let go let me rest okay i died for you dummy be happy enjoy your life do what you want is that so hard 
Go on and live your life without me. I've already lived. Key. It was so much work just to get here. And it was a pain waiting for you. It's your fault I didn't get to rest in peace. But I guess this way, our goodbye can at least be a little more formal. W wait, don't keep your girl waiting. Yeah, listen to him. Thank you, Key. Shout out to Key. Love you. Goodbye, magazine. You're an honorable kid. Okay, wow. Wow, what a roller coaster. Oh, Mag, it's okay, baby. You're such a good man. You're a good man. It's the thought that really counts. Thank you, Key. Goodbye. Your rest is well deserved. Oh, magazine, tell me, baby. Let it all out. I didn't know Key for very long. During the war, we were trying to escape the country and we were confronted by soldiers. He protected me and he lost his life helping me survive. It didn't work out with your friend either? No, and he didn't even tell me the tea. I guess we're done here. But I don't think I can say goodbye to you, Amanda. Ah, uh, duh. Obviously, you already know I'm in the bag. Okay, so let's unpack this. I think, because I haven't heard where, remember that scar? I think it's safe to say that he got that, like, in the war. He's just, he's just been through so much. He was in the war of Saturn, the great Saturn war. And he got a scar, and he tr literally came all this way to help save a guy that sacrificed himself for him because he's so dramatic, and I love this. Must we part ways? Mag, you already know. I'm your girl. <gasps> Could I come live on Earth with you? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. How am I going to explain to my parents that my boyfriend's name is Magazine and he's an alien and he has blue hair? I can't wait. Yeah, I found him in space. Like when I get back and they're like, where have you been? I'm going to be like, I was in space and I met a guy and his name's Magazine, and they're gonna be like, <laughs> like, they're traumatized, and I'm just like, but this is Magazine, my boyfriend. It's gonna be great. It's gonna go over really well. I meant what I said before. I will follow you to the end. So if it's okay with you, let's go home together. Ah, oh, I love this. Lee who? No, I'm glad Lee is, Lee has been laid to rest. He's resting in peace. In the end, everyone else also decided to let go of the people they were trying to bring back good for them. That's the healthy thing to do. It really is. After everyone was brought back to their planet in the universe, Magazine and I returned to Earth. We adopted an alien. Yay. <laughs> I wonder what the future will bring for us. Probably we're going to get married. Duh. Oh my god. <laughs> we're at the zoo. We're at the zoo seeing the panda and I, my hair's gone a little longer. I'm wearing human clothes. Look at Mag. Oh my god. Look at Mag. He's wearing, he's wearing earth clothes. I am actually shook. <gasps> he looks so good. He's got like a hoodie and boots and stuff. Oh my god. We're so cute. We're in love. We're in love. We're the picture of love. A panda. I've always wanted to see one. Oh, they're just as cute in person. I'm so happy. Oh my god, Magazine. I'm so glad. You deserve this and more. He's been through so much. He deserves nothing but the best. Well, where should we go next, Amanda? I, I don't want to be selfish. He's such a king. I can't stress this enough. We should go see an animal you want to see. Huh? Oh, you like the pandas also? No, well, I mean, I like the okapis, the snakes, the lizards, the crocodiles. I mean, there's a lot of animals. I like. If they got bats, I would love to see the bats. There's a lot of animals I would like to see. In fact, I'm not too crazy about pandas. I think they're kind of overrated, but I love you and I want to do whatever makes you happy. So yes, I like the pandas also. What's your name, Mr. Panda? Mapu Tofu. Mapu Tofu, I need your help. There's someone I really treasure. They're the most important person to me. Look at him. Look at him. I want to be with her forever, but I don't know how to tell her this. <gasps> Y'all, I'm about to get a ring. I am about to get a ring. Uh, yeah, this is in the bag. This is in the bag. He's about, and he's asking a panda for advice. Is this not my dream? I, I have no words. I have no words. I, I would like to thank the Academy. I would like to thank all of everybody who's supported me to this to this point. I'm just so beyond humbled. Oh my god. Uh, are you sure? Thank you, Mapu Tofu. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> he just like, rushed to me and took my hand. He's so dramatic. Amanda, please marry me. No matter what you choose or where you go, I want to be by your side. I will follow you until the end. I love him. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. I love you, I love you, I love you. Max relationship with Magazine. I won, I won, I won. We're in the stars. I never knew that you could hold moonlight in your hands until the night that I held him. Okay? Okay? This was amazing. What a roller coaster. Thank you so much for joining me. We just 
simped around the whole ass galaxy, around the whole universe, simping all over the universe. It is two o'clock in the morning on a, on a, I guess it's Friday, technically, Thursday night, and I'm engaged to be married to an alien named Magazine, and I'm so glad that you could all come along for the ride. This is what I do when I don't have a capture card. Um, thankfully, I just heard from Elgato, so they should be sending that to me soon, so Animal Crossing videos will come, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do whatever. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. I was just bored, I wanted to do this tonight. This is just what I'm gonna do when I'm bored, it's fine. And yeah, it's fun. You can go to just like packtheseasegames.com and I kind of want you all to play it and tell me what happens, right? I kind of want to know. I just, I'm never in my wildest dreams, never going to play this game for like Rise thing. I don't care what happened to Rai, but I kind of, I kind of want to know, like if you have the tea. But anyway, I digress. Thank you all so much for entertaining my weird thing that I just decided to randomly do. And you're all invited to me and Magazine's wedding. I think we're just going to do it like at the zoo, honestly. We'll let you know, you know, with the whole 2020 thing, it's going to be hard to plan a wedding, but we'll let you know.